Hello, everybody. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you where you are. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Easter weekend. I am for the moment floor, Hazel, mostly because... Well, she was in my chair, but now she's on the arm, so I suppose she made room. I could probably get up for the moment. How are you guys doing? Uh, held the line on a 45 stream streak. It's a moderate amount of streams. Cupcake Chaos with a 41 month streak. Holy, or full, 41 month reset. Holy cow, 41 months. You're the only streamer I sub to every month. Aww. Uh, always love to see you. Even the family joins in. Sometimes they know the intro jingle. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Dealing hands like, Kitty, should I try and sit next to you? She was being cute. She was giving me a little shoulder massage. She had her paws right here and she was just kind of... <laughs> Oh, honey bun, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> You're like a little confused. Kitty, are you confused? Here, let's get up. Let's see here. Um, do this. And then something like this will fix the angle of the set. Theoretically. Gotcha. All right. Is that all the pieces in place? It doesn't look quite right. I <laughs> don't think this is our angle. I think we're, we're more there-ish. I think it's still too low, actually. I mean, it's got a lot of cat in it. We do like cat. <laughs> Hi, I feel taller today. I don't know what's up with that. <sighs> gone, gone home from having run with friends, came home to listen to musicals, grind at storm achievements. Nice. All right, we have coffee. I came out here to do the Eon's Fringe Daily because I figured that's a pretty reasonably simple and straightforward and understandable thing to do that I'm working on for the meta achievement. So let's go see what Chromie wants for me, first of all. And then I want to, like, poke around at World Quest to see if there is any more progress I can make there, both for for the um, for the achievement, but also I see that there's some more Azerothian Archives World Quest. We passed our half-week mark. And I swear one day I'm going to do one of those and it's going to give me the pet. Lost time, lost Vikings. All right, you betcha. Are we going anywhere in particular? You're not giving me a portal. Battle of Voldraken? All right. Hmm. New catalog and quests are not the ones I need. Mm. Are you watching the plunder tourney at all? I'm not sure what time it is. If it's if it's on after my stream time slot, I might uh, put it on in the living room. <sighs> In an hour. Okay, then no, I have no plans to watch it. I'm still going to be streaming. I'm looking. I have a feeling that the PvPers are going to do very well. Um, like the WoW PvP mains, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll have to see. I'm going this way to go talk to a dwarf. That's right. Everything I was waiting for with reset, not what I need, especially the storms. Storms. Okay, no, one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing I'm gonna do, even if it means that we that everything takes a little longer, is I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a thing to work on, and I'm not <laughs> gonna gonna do a word of anything else until I've satisfied my self obligation. The plan. The ultimate plan. Is it in here? It is in here. Look at it go. Target to target not work anymore. It's not something I use regularly, so I wouldn't... I, I don't have it handy. Uh, music turned off. That's right, he's partying. I think I've done this one before. Oh. Oh, now he's angry. I turned off his jam. <laughs> he was dancing to that. Interested to see him as Barnaby does? Interesting to see classic players? Hmm. Oh, Green Arrow, that really sucks. I hope you feel better soon. Okay. And now there's more dwarves. <laughs> They're everywhere. Because I want to look at those Azerothian Archives world quests. And I want to check for the cataloging and the climbing world quests to see if I can make any progress on those. This would be me. <laughs> I would find the enormous circular bed and I would go to sleep. And if somebody woke me up, I would attempt to sucker punch them and most likely miss. One more. Hmm. I think the rank one PvP peers will win the tourney, and the remaining invitees will find ways to generate content. Yeah, yeah. 
Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you. Right back at you. I hope everybody who has a holiday weekend is enjoying it. We have some, some lovely weather here. Seems nice. Also, wh whenever um, people in my neighborhood take a holiday weekend, whenever there's like a long weekend, they usually sleep in. Which means that if I get up early and I go outside for any reason, the streets are like empty and it's lovely. Uh, maybe he's upstairs. Oh yeah, I think he's he's busy uh, goggling at, at a dragon. Can you see the mod? Yeah, sure. Hang on. Let me get up top where we can get some sunshine on it. Sorry, you peekaboo. Betting on them. Yeah, that's not a... I feel like that's not a bad bet. <laughs> I think I'm rooting for Disguised Toast because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Toast fan from back in the day, but I don't know if... um. I don't know. I don't know if, if we're if we're top top tanning with that. Well, maybe <laughs> you never know. Anyway, there's the mug. That's the plunderstorm. Uh, the plunderstorm outfit without the hat, but with the eye patch on. I also took the cloak off because I found the 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 blingy effects that the cloak gives you to be distracting. There are some extra sparklies you can get, and I don't like them, so I turned them off. All right, leave you. I wonder if that's like a reference to Gimli and Galadriel. Just totally starstruck. And oh, I have to take his picture, that's right. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, it counts. I suppose I never looked to see who all was in the tourney. There's a big infographic that they posted. There's like a big square grid that they posted when they announced who was in it, I suppose. Uh, and then we're going back to Ian's bridge. I suppose I'm already up on the tower. I suppose I can fly there on my own two wings. <laughs> I'm normally really chronically lazy, but if I'm already up, I'm just fine. Fine. Easter isn't for another month. Hopefully the rain doesn't mess up plans for those celebrating tomorrow. <clears throat> As a Machinima fan, rooting for Crendor, and by extension, Nixie. Names that I forgot existed. <laughs> Still Team Barney, though. Uh, turn that into Bob. And double check just to make sure that I'm still getting progress, which I'm sure we are. It's it's encouraging seeing only two things left in the major meta achievement, but then you go and there's like a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in there. So yeah, we're two of eight, so we just do this for a week and it should be fine, especially if they rotate and they don't repeat. I now want to quickly, well, I don't know how quickly. I want to take a quick-ish look. There are caverns, Bernard Plains, and Waking Shores. Let's go do the Waking Shores one. I need to do some, some Azerothian dailies because I swear I must be close to the just one more thing achievement. I have to be. Every time that I've, here, I'll, I'll actually check the script this time. There's a wowhead thing you can plug in. So if you look up just one more thing. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. If you look up the achievement and you type correctly, always helpful. Uh, complete any site's entry, just one of them. And then in the comments, top comment, there's a delightful macro that you can copy. And then we plug that in. And it tells you how many times you've done each... Here, I'm going to have to move this thing in edit mode, but there we go. It tells you how much time you've um how many times you've done each location let's see concord observatory and theoretically doing the same location for a third time any of these would proc the achievements so if, as long as i did one of these world quests in either a gears watch gaze and eltharian observatory or ring lord's perch it should proc the reason i'm skeptical is because i feel like i've done that already so there's a possibility that i'm just fundamentally misunderstanding something um in any case let me stick this back rub one. We'll go do this world quest and fingers crossed it gives me my pet. We'll see. Maybe I maybe I don't understand. But it's um, fragments no matter what. 500 of them. That's like a small percentage of a transmog. Uh, techno scrying. So if we go here and then we have the goggles in the bags. Put those on. Yeah, there we go. Somewhere in here. Hmm. Only have the storm chaser part of this achievement left. The waiting is killing me. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of people in that boat. It looks really frustrating. I'm gonna pay f for it later. I think I've not been super 
super conscientious about it. Is it up? It's uh, 91, 84, 86, 87, 88. Maybe it is up. Or maybe it's like further forward. No, no, we lost it. It's not this. No, now we're to 74. <laughs> is there an up? I guess I'll go take a look at it. <sighs> Dance with the Drenai woman. I have that achievement already. Missed my last storm? Well, I was at work the other day, so upsetting. Oh, no. <laughs> Pesky employment. Uh, I feel like it's not up here, but I guess I'll check. Yeah, not so much. Too high, too high. Mm. Dax, who you may remember as the kitten we adopted last year, has found a sunbeam to snooze in. Aww. Lucy was doing that this morning. It's very cute. I know it's like science, but his black fur heats up so much faster in the sun than his white fur. He has like different colors. And I understand that that's like a thing and it explains polar bears. <laughs> this is gonna drive me nuts. Maybe it's outside. Maybe it's on the back of the wall or something like that. It looks like it's going through. Um, it's going up. Is there a mid-range level? What about this thing? This looks promising. <laughs> Sometimes these are super easy. Is it that? No. Sometimes these are super easy. And sometimes I'm... It really seemed like it was very close when it was in here, but I thought we checked thoroughly. That bird's so cool. Need to grind some before I go do Easter things with the family. Niece is going to have their first egg hunt. Oh, that's adorable. Get Mervin. <laughs> Done little Azure span storms. Fighting for snow and fire in the other zones. So this is our latitude. <laughs> Wrong way. 98. Huh. Okay, well that's extremely rude. I found it. Technically. Just gotta get the right angle. Interact key. Alright. I call. <laughs> I call. I don't know. Something rude. That was mean. <laughs> I forgot what day it was. No, nah, not upstairs. I checked upstairs. It was underneath some rubble in a way that I find to be rude. <laughs> shenanigans. There we go. Exactly. I call it shenanigans. Um, oh, yeah. Once you mount up, it takes your goggles off, which is fine, except unless you unless you don't know where you're going. <laughs> Talking about moose in the sun. Reminded me that our cat rescue recommends we put sunblock on our cat's noses if they're white on their noses, which we don't, but... Oh, I didn't know that. That's cute. Katie, do you have a white nose? You have a pink nose, I think. Oh, watch out. There you go. <laughs> door, door jams. Tricky. I'm gonna say all right as many times as I need to to <laughs> catch the, the trail of this thing again. This has to be the last one because otherwise it wouldn't be so stinky. Although I'm not seeing a whole lot. Hopefully they've sorted out the bugs with these because it used to be that sometimes you had to like leave and then come back in war mode to even get the last things to proc but I haven't had that problem in a while. Crack on a five stream streak. Appreciate it. <sighs> oh, there's the storm. Thirty eight minutes snowstorm. I think a snowstorm in the in the Azure span may be the only chasing storms in the Azure span. It might be the only one that I actually have. I'm pretty sure we did a snowstorm. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it was in the Ezra's band. That's the only one that I actually finished. All right, we're on the track of something. Around here somewhere. Light up, darn you. There it is. <laughs> 
sister's cat will wander outside. We're all in the dirt when we let our dogs out. It's cute, but the brushing's getting a bit much. Mm. For the whole of Dragonflight, I procrastinated my Furbolg farm. And the Cobalt farm to later. Yeah. Yeah, now's the time. Cobalt really wasn't that bad. Um, I know I complained about it, like, a lot on stream, but it really wasn't that bad. Especially, um, you know, in a group, putting something on your on your second monitor if you've got one, or just like a podcast or, you know, new Beyonce album in or whatever you got. You're, it's, it, go, it goes pretty fast. Compared to other grinds in the game, it was pretty negligible. Hmm. Okay, so I did the world quest. Um, I wonder if it's certain types of world quests. It's not any world quest in that location. It has to be, it has to be a specific one. So maybe the excavation one? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll just go do it anyways. Just to, just to try. Can't hurt. Hmm. Had a 50 plus stream streak. Went to Japan. I never want anybody to worry too much about the about the stream streaks. It's it's just a Twitch metric that I don't even know if I can opt out of. I don't want anyone to feel bad about missing a stream. I support all of you having lives and schedules and you know, time's complicated. This is this is a thing that you can always catch later. And if you miss one, you're not going to be too behind in the storyline. <laughs> we'll do a season recap if anything important happens. The Achieve is only the clue quest. Oh. Complete any site's entry in the Tome of Archived Isles research. Because huh. I know there's a separate achievement that is for, for, like, for discovering clues. And that one's... I don't know. <laughs> that one's apparently not important for me to do, so they didn't they didn't ask for it for the meta. Time is a lie. Day. Friends keep a book of things I say out of context. Oh man. Alright. Well, worst case scenario we end up with some uh, some <laughs> fragments. This is the least, the least good, <laughs> the least good world quest. It's not hard, it's just annoying. Yeah. The elemental hats are cute, that is true. Oh, dirt type. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad that they added these meta achievements now, though. Because otherwise I would have been... I'm sure I could have found things to do, but I'm really just filling time in WoW until the transmog farming changes come in. Normally, I mean, I mean, I have mount fronts to do, but normally I can I can fill any patch gap with mog farming, but I'm just so unwilling to until um, until they they put in those warbands changes. So I'm just scrabbling for other stuff to do to piece together the, the bits and pieces of time. Season four will keep me busy for a little bit, but I'm a little worried it's not gonna keep me busy for long enough. So there's one in the Zerlet Caverns. I'm guessing that was the riverbed. All right, I'm bored. What else do we got? There's an elemental storm. Um, it was the Azure Span, it was a snowstorm. Let me double check that that actually is. Chasing storms in the Azure Span. Yeah, snowstorms is the only one that I have done and that is the storm that is up right now. So we can check again in another, you know, like hour and a half or whatever. That's funny. Forgetting that, let's see about climbing and cataloging world quests. So those are going to be Dragon Scale Expedition. There is a climbing one there, climbing one pretty close here, cataloging one that I think that's the one that I did just previously. Like that was the one that we just had. Um, and then you've got another, we've got lots of climbing quests at least. Maybe we can get some more progress on... The achievement I was working on there. We go across the aisles. Wake me up. How did these get here? I'm two of ten for lost supplies, so we'll we'll see what we can do. Yeah. All right. I have a destination. Oh. 
After three years of owning and playing the game, I'm going to complete the community center finally on my last room. I am not participating in the tournament, though. I don't need this trinket. There's no reason I should do this world quest. They're just... <laughs> the big ringed ones are just so easy relative to the other world quests that even if I don't need anything from them, they're tempting. It's like, well, just, you know, you could just clean that up. You could just make it all make it all go away. I'm sure the denizens of the zone would appreciate the tidying. Alright. One of these. Oh, excuse me. them from the map, stop them yelling at me when I fly around the zone. Back in Legion, there was a quest. It wasn't a world quest, it was a regular quest, and it would auto-accept whenever you flew over the area. It was in the... Okay, let's find Legion. Broken Isles. Asuna. You fly over here, and it would be like, hey, you can kill some stuff. <laughs> And I'd be like, no thank you, and I would abandon it. And then it would give me that quest every time that I like took a flight path or in any way went near that area for the rest of the expansion. And then I would finally like get fed up and do it just to make it go away. And then all of a sudden, um, anytime, you know, it, it's all, you have to do it on every character if you don't want to see the thing anymore. So there's the supplies. All right. We can do that. We'll keep an eye out because I know that some of these might have as many as two supplies, so there could be one more if we're lucky. But I won't say no to finishing the quest if it comes up. Legion Invasion's auto accepted too. Also, BFA's war thingies. Yeah, those ones I didn't feel as bad about, even though they were also annoying. Just because they were like limited time, like if I if I picked it up and then the event ended, I don't think it would auto discard it, but I would feel I don't know less than a wait about it. Here, let's like jump off this and then check out the other side. Cause this is like a pretty big one. <sighs> I'm exactly. Oh no, I've got one more. Any purple bags? Purple bags of stuff. Probably not that lucky. I don't see anything. I think we got the one already. Alright. I think that we're gonna take so long doing storms and doing even just the cataloging world quests. I don't think the climbing world quests are going to be the point of contention because at least the climbing world quests are you don't need a specific climbing world quest it's like most of them have supplies on them so that's climbing that's cataloging there's a climbing one there let's go do that thought you we were going to refer to the wisp quest in Belshara where you get turned into a wisp whenever you flew over it mm. I don't remember that you ever have zones that you hated when they were current and later realized they were kind of cool? Hated Stormheim for the longest time, but now I think the grapple mechanic was kind of fun. Mm. I resented Suramar at the time because I didn't, I didn't want to do it. I was busy. <laughs> I, I thought it was optional, and then I was peeved when I later found out I needed to do it for stuff that was important, or at least important to me. But after the fact, it is a lovely zone, and when you take out all of the, the stealth fails that I had around the city. Cause I used to just get my, I used to just get absolutely mugged in Suramar. Um, also don't mind me. <laughs> because uh, I wasn't terribly good at the sneaking around minigame. 
So I used to get into a lot of trouble there, and that was very frustrating because it was, you know, every time you get spotted by a ton of stuff, it's like, oh no, this again, here we go. <laughs> but you, when you take that thread out of it and you go back later on, it's much better. How many mounts are you at now? 790 that this character can ride, and 874 total, according to my mount journal and hand stat on. Call it 800. Split the difference. Hated Hellfire when it launched, but that was because I didn't have a mount and couldn't fly. Like BC Hellfire? Yeah. It's a lot of open ground there. Gonna miss the Veldraken background music when we go to War Within. Do we know where we're gonna be hanging out city-wise yet? Have they announced a city? I feel like I should know that, but I <laughs> do not remember. Um, that's not what we're after. That's what we're after. I feel like I must be the only person that has this achievement as one of the things I didn't do. Alright, I see purple. How many of these things can I get away with getting? Seven, okay. What do they even have in them? An enchanted compass. Oh, it's like eight dragon health supplies. Maybe that's why I didn't care. Maybe once upon a time I looked up what you get for actually looting the lost supplies. And I was just like, well, no thank you. <laughs> Never mind. That is a poor investment given that you need to spend a couple hundred supplies to even get the thing. I'm waiting on a Hazel video to tell me. <laughs> Maybe they can just move Dollar on again. There you go. I hope they teleport to Zara Lore underground. Only if they invert it. The, s the pyramid needs to hang from the ceiling. <laughs> that would be actually really cool. Uh, it would probably be a bad idea nine ways to Sunday, but it would be cool. Mm. Alright, so one more climbing quest, and then I am 99% sure that that cataloging quest that I have up is not the one I need. I think that's the one of the ones that I did, like, yesterday. But I do feel like I should maybe look into it just in case. <laughs> More within! Return to Oribus. Part of the fun, the new expansions, the new music, new study music. That's why I got Spotify, because I couldn't find it anywhere else. I remember you used to get CDs in your in your collector's edition. If you bought like the physical collector's box, a few of the old ones would come with like a CD soundtrack. I think that's true. I feel like I remember having like a mop CD specifically. I'm very upset to be doing Shadowlands Covenant stuff all day every day, but I must have the bet about. It's a real cool bet. I don't blame you one bit. Hmm. Usually play WoW without a subscription. Uh, go exploring, fish, resources, a bunch of other stuff. What would you do if you played without a subscription? Hmm. I'm not super familiar with what the limitations are of what you can and cannot do without a subscription. I'm assuming that you can't really get away with, like, playing the auction house. I don't know. That sounds lovely. <laughs> I like fishing. No auctionist and free trial. Yeah. Mm. I'd say I would do herbalism, but for what? Oh, this is like an ice one. Okay, so I see the supplies. I don't know if a 
this doesn't look familiar to me. Alright, we have to go around. Yeah, no, that one only gave me six Dragon Isle supplies. It's no wonder I didn't do this before. It's terrible. You do it for the achievement once and then you leave forever. I shouldn't talk too much, Smack. I do need Dragon Isle supplies. I'm going to have a million things to buy. Every six Dragon Isle supplies counts. Six Dragon Isle supplies I get to keep. What? Yeah. How part of a World Awoken are you doing with the climbing quests? I'm working on the how did these get here achievement for collecting the lost supplies um, during the climbing world quests, which is part of the dragon scale expedition section of Across the Isles. I need that, and then I need to photograph three more legendary characters for a legendary album. Baba B5, thanks for the 18 month reset. Hi, Hazel. Hello. Welcome back. And uh, for those, I need like three specific cataloging quests to be available. If I look it up, because I don't think they are now, but. Just keeping an eye out for which zones I need to look into. Shen Storm Stout is from Awaking Shores 1. The Time Warped Fisher. Who I swear I photographed before, I guess just not on this character, um, is Thaldrazis, and then Nat Pagel is Onarin Plains. Okay. Oh, there only is one in the Ezra Span. Interesting. <sighs> here's, a, here's an achievement I haven't even started yet. But we've checked on climbing, we've checked on cataloging, we've checked on the storm. It's the one that I don't need. Somehow the only one that I don't need. Hang on a second. Uh, Torrent Guardian, thank you very much for the brand new sub. I appreciate it. Another thing that I've been working on that I can kind of do while I'm waiting for storms is I am missing some treasures for a few of the different zone treasure achievements that come up. And the there are treasure maps that you need to, to find them. Like you have to loot the map first even if you know where the treasure is. And for that, you need to get it out of treasures like expedition packs and dirt. So I had purchased a bunch of shovels on my evoker because she's the one that is closest to having those achievements done. Um. Okay, so this is I, I must have looted a map on my priest, but it doesn't matter because she doesn't have any of the other treasures for this zone. And my evoker, I'm pretty sure, is only one treasure shy of this zone. And getting the treasures in this zone is the last thing I need for the Tuscar achievement. Because the Tuscar stuff I actually did ahead of time. For once in my earthly life. I was having enough fun fishing early on that I got it done. <laughs> Scroll Hunter Brutal. Mm. Although, I didn't have that toy, so <laughs> who's to say? <laughs> Weird. Oh well. That is a grand hunt. Six hunts remaining. Should I look into starting? I mean, I'm gonna have to do this eventually. Western Azur Span hunt, Eastern Azur Span hunt. There's three Azur Span hunts. I don't even know which one this is. Let me look up this disgruntled hunter achievement. It's gonna take ages, so we may as well start it now. I'd never even heard of this achievement before they added the meta. That's how little attention I apparently paid. It's not new. They added the achievement in 10.0. 17% of WoWhead profiles have it. I guess there's not that many. Especially when it's a subset of people that have WoWhead profiles and not like overall accounts. Mm. Well, there's a bunch of waypoints. Do I have TomTom Tom and everything turned on? Add-ons. So I need... TomTom Tom and maybe Tom Points. Let's try that.
finish the hunts yourself to rotate to a new one. Oh, okay. I wonder how long it's going to take to finish the hunts myself. Flash, T2 haste. Don't mind me. Uh, that didn't work. Um, Hidden Dwarf in every hunt. Vengeance is his name. <laughs> I thought it was Habit. <laughs> Let me see. Just to reinforce, he will be killed by wildlife in Northern Feldrazis. So you have to get there ASAP. Copy and paste into TomTom -tom from any zone. Clearly, I don't understand how to use Tom Tom. <laughs> let me try. Let me try something. All right. Well, this is given. Oh, I think that worked better. Although, Satchel Seven. I must have had old waypoints from before. Southern, Eastern. I don't know if I did that right. <laughs> Maybe. Guessing where I should just be chilling nearby. So is there... Is there then... One for every single grand hunt? I suppose I should just start the... Oh yeah, Western Disgruntled Hunt on the top of the dead tree. Is he there now? Let's see. Hello. Have I now found him? Yes, yes, I have. All right. So I don't need to do the hunt um, unless I want to force it to move to a new location. I could just... He's always there. He's got a lot of free time. He stays up for the whole hunt. You can only talk to him when the hunt is active. Oh. Except for the one where he dies. All right. Uh, well, follow-up question. Do I want to do the hunt or not? Was there something else that I was in the middle of doing? I guess I'm kind of curious as to how how long it'll take to... Uh, I don't think I meant to do that. <laughs> how long it'll take to... Um, basically solo a hunt. Although somebody else must be working on it, because I certainly haven't helped in it. It was one of 15 armor reasons healed. In theory, you can get this achievement waiting eight hours? Four to eight minutes. Yeah, you haven't met me. <laughs> I feel like the last time I tried to do this, I was working on them for like 25 each. I am not in the tourney now. <laughs> I'm not even... I guess I'm probably most over this. I was meaning to just fight the mobs near me, which was also not the correct answer. We're supposed to be healing them and not <laughs> killing them. I'm taking the hunt part a little too literally. Oh, I got I got a Drake Watcher manuscript. Gray horns for the Velocidrake. Imagine that. <laughs> what if I'm creating more Armoredans for people to heal by virtue of... Oh no, where do you want me to go? Did I do it? I just hopped on for a second. <laughs> By virtue of injuring them en masse. Yeah, there's definitely at least one other person around. I 
I think I'm just trying to find anything I can possibly do to put off the dirt pile grind. Maybe I just need like a shorter piece of the dirt pile grind, like some kind of a sub goal that I can work on that's not just like get this one treasure map somehow. Uh, dirt pile grind. There's treasure achievements for the various zones. They're kind of encompassed in the in the faction achievements for across the isles. So, for example, Treasures of the Waking Shores is part of the Dragon Scale Expedition one. Um, for the Tuscar one, A the Scar Tuscar, Treasures of the Azure Span is one of them. And some of these treasures you need to loot a treasure map for first before it lets you loot it. And the maps come from things like dirt piles and expedition packs. So you have to and it's it's not like the highest drop rate ever. It's a it's a little bit of a little bit of a grind. I should probably do that instead. This is arguably not helping me at all. Dirt pile grind is my friend yard. I think they buffed the drop rate. I was working on it a bit yesterday and I I I, I got nothing. <laughs> But I guess I, I only did it for like 15 minutes. This is the section that I'm doing on my evoker because she has a lot more progress on the treasure specifically. One map per day. I don't even know how many I still need. I know I need one more map for the Azure span, but I think that there's some that I'm missing for the other zones. But you, you don't treasure hunt in any particular zone, so I was just kind of going at it. I need the Forgotten Jewel Box, which is the Sorrowful map for Azure Span. And then that actually gets me a mount, because that finishes the whole Tuscar section of the achievement. Um, whereas if I look at... What else do we got? I was looking at that one already. We did the Dragon Scale Expedition ones. For the Onarin Plains, she has two of six. And then for the... Is that it? No, there must be a Theldrazis one as well. Treasures of Theldrazis. Yeah, we're three of six there. Not all of those are going to be map treasures, but I think some of them, some of them certainly are. Maybe I should focus on getting all of the non-map treasures first. <sighs> so if I'm in, that's not a bad idea. If I'm in the Onarn Plains and I'm looking at these, these ones, let me wowhead this and find out. Which ones are going to be stinky? I think if you didn't let me look at any reference material and you told me I had to correctly spell Onarin Plains with correct pronunciation, or punctuation rather, and you were like, I'll give you $2,000 for doing it, I don't know if I would end up with $2,000. <laughs> It looks easy now that I'm looking at it, but I think if I hadn't seen it in a while, I would be lost. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So the the war spear and the gem cluster require um, maps. The swag coin is inside the swag cave, so let's just do that. We have, yeah, I have um my handy notes turned on, so we've got our locations marked at least. The duck egg requires petting Ludo, and then there's a treasure. And yeah, and then I'll and then I'll be down to just map treasures for this zone. But if I do see any <laughs> any dirt piles or expedition packs the way over, I should probably loot them. <sighs> I also have herbalism for all the good that does me. Wow. <laughs> Would you look at that? Yes, I've had the treasure item from the Quartermaster. I spell O planes every time I type it for that reason. Because I've looted a, a, quite a few of these maps. This was my my Dragonflight main. Uh, I think I bought that pet on the auction house. Because I have the pet already, but I never looted the treasure. I must have been just checking the auction house for cheap pets at one point in my life. Started without the treasure item. Turns out that doesn't work. Mm. Yeah, having some of the treasure items looted already makes me think that I have done that already. Because, like, the, the Sapphire Gem Cluster, etc. was definitely a treasure map item that I have credit for. I want dirt. Dirt. 
How do you spell the name of the Storm Incarnate Lady? The last boss of Vault of the Incarnates. One try go. Razageth. Oh, man. I feel like I'll get the letters in the right order, but the apostrophe is anybody's guess. You've got R-A-S-Z. Now, is it Raz apostrophe a geth or is it Raz apostrophe geth? A, uh, let's say apostrophe A-G-E-T-H. That's the question. <sighs> um, get the S and the, Z and the Z all mixed up. Yeah, I would. I, it's a coin flip for me as to where you put the apostrophe. I could, here, we'll, we'll find out. We're looking at Dragonflight Raids, Vault of the Incarnates. Good grief, there's no apostrophe. It's just Razageth. There isn't one. <laughs> the limit does not exist. The apostrophe does not exist. Did I otherwise get it right? R-A-S-Z-A-G-E-T-H. Yeah, I otherwise had it right. I was just imagining apostrophes. <laughs> oh, good grief. My spelling bee's ruined. I can't be the only person that thought there was one, though. Like the real name, Eliza. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, the web. I really appreciate it. I do my best. True name, Life. Ning chicken. <laughs> All right, Swag Cave, Swag Coin, somewhere, ish, approximately. Oh yeah, Swag Coin. In the cave with him to his right side. Excuse me, that is his left side. <laughs> this kind of thing gets me in trouble at the vet because we'll be talking about like a, a certain tooth on the on the cat or like a paw on the dog or whatever and it's like the left one or the right one but then I'm like wait his left or my left and then sometimes if I'm behind the dog or facing the dog my left would change and it makes me just wish that there was different different non-contextual words for for those things on like a pet specifically because I drive everybody crazy because I, I want to understand and I don't understand because it changes based and sometimes like you'll be having the conversation and then a person moves or the dog turns around and you're like well no way I lost it and I'm the only person on the planet that has a problem with that. Alright we got the gem cluster. Or no, pardon me. We got the, the the swag coin. It was a copper coin. The duck egg should be pretty easy. We just need to find and pet Ludo. So let me wowhead that. NPC. There he is. Oh, he's a Bacar. I'm also going to need to, at some point, find and pet all of the Bacar in the zone. I haven't done that. So he is kind of like there-ish. Right, right on the road. Yeah, there he is. He's marked on my map, actually. <sighs> that is his left side. Thank you. <laughs> As a vet tech, we mean based on the animal. Animals left or right. I hope, I hope that they've all got that memo. Every last one of them. <laughs> you can paint one paw. He's port in starboard. <laughs> I just dye one of Moose's paws blue and then I just go into the blue side and they're like, what? Excuse me. Why have you done this? Eh? Where'd he go? I just had a target on him. I literally just had a target on him. Uh, waiting for the right storm in every zone except Azra's fan, but you've been reached nice. The web 93? Thanks for the three month resub. Um, I don't know what's just happened with Ludo. I guess I should research further. I had a target on him. I was just about to put a target marker so I could like look for him and he's, I can't target him anymore. Did, did, did the dream surge get him? Oh, does he move? No, that's a different one. It's cute. Comments. Uh, you have to find him. He's patrolling the roads in camp. Oh, okay. He probably just patrolled away from me. He probably just padded. I could make a target macro, but where's the fun in that one? I could just 
There we go. <laughs> I, just, I see. I was worried that he was like subsumed by the dream surge. There he is. So, I got the I got the map. Pet the dog. Can I not pet the dog? All right. Well, we got the map anyway. What's up, crew? How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Nice. Okay. And then we have a bonus. Oh, it has to hatch for three days. Bonus viridescent duck. So, I now... There, there's one more zone that I am missing probably like reasonably lootable treasures. Let's let's track the treasures that Thaldraz is achieving because I'm sure I must have some of them. Not closing time. Although I do need to also keep an eye on the you know, the time rift invasions or it's going to be another one in a few minutes. We're checking for alliance and horde war invaders. But it's for this one. Treasures of Thaldraz is worth three of six. Easter a big event for your family. No. No, I have no plans at all. <laughs> Treasures. Some people have um, time off work. Baldrazus. But I just took a vacation, so I'm here. Mm, comments. All right. So I need Amber Gem Cluster is certainly going to be a map one, right? Yes. Uh, Surveyor's magnifying glass is just in a cave on the ground, so we can go get that. The sandy wooden duck is also a map cluster. Search and loot all the random treasure chests that you can find. One map drops every 50 to 100 chests. Okay. Well, let's at least go loot the surface magnifying glass and then maybe pick up any dirt piles we find along the way. It looks like I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five more maps to finish all of the treasures. Kind of surprised I didn't find more of them by now. I have a bad feeling that at some point in my life I deleted some maps without ever looting the treasure. Like I just didn't care. And I hope that's not the case because I don't know if that would like perma break it or not. But it would be a real bummer if I got like most of the way and then it just wouldn't drop again because I like deleted it. But I don't want to start all over again either. Especially because I would have to do the renown again as well like the Dragon Scale Expedition renown. So I'm just going to operate on the assumption that I either A, did not delete a map, and that B, if I did somehow delete a map, that it would drop again as long as it was not currently in my possession. I did check my bank. <laughs> but I hope I didn't break it, because if I did, I have no faith in CS to fix it. Uh, no expansion date just yet. Glad someone else doesn't have any plans. I have felt odd one out. No, not me too. I should probably like make dinner at some point, but I don't know. I haven't been <laughs> I haven't been cooking much lately. There's some dirt that's underneath. Might be in oh yeah, in this cave. Maps seem to spawn more from dirt. Arm yourself, lots of shovels. Mm. Ah, thanks, Darko. Did that with a conch, deleted hundreds of them, and now I need them for lunkers. The conches, I definitely have deleted some of them, but I also stashed some away in various banks. Although I think I must have gotten the Lunkers. Uh, dirt. Scout packs. I dislike caves, fundamentally, because I can never figure out if something is a cave, and if so, how to get in. Both of these treasures are below me, which makes me think it's a cave. I don't see an obvious entrance anywhere. That's not a cave. You would never been a thing that you checked had needed for achievement written on it. Probably not, but... Oh, hey, there's a cave. <laughs> I am a little bit trigger happy when it comes to binning things, so... There's a reason that I... No, that's not the one. There's a reason that my bank is so clean. <laughs> What about bread? Hazel, I think Flabby should farm my meta achievement for me on the DL. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't I don't think your odds are good with that one. I think I should move on from these. I don't know where they are, but I'm leaving. <laughs> Big waste of time. Uh, yeah, I played some Plunderstorm. I'm not in the tournament, but I did enough to get the Renown finished. That's how I got this Dragon Riding Parrot that I'm running out of Vigor on. <laughs> so where is... Follow-up question. Rhetorical. We're after the Surveyor's Magnifying Glass. Map the gem cluster. That's the wooden duck that needs the map. It's in a cave. It should be marked with a big old treasure map. Is it there? Yeah, there we go. Well, let's let's head northish. Thanks for mentioning the drop pack. Would have missed it without you. Nice. It's a really really cute one. Um, it's a really it's a really good one. Hola. I'm gonna watch the plunder tourney. I don't have any plans to, no. I'm not a big react creator. Like I'll co-stream BlizzCon and whatnot, but um, other forms of content I am hesitant to put on my stream because I don't own the rights to them. And I know everybody does it, but like it's never really been my thing. Uh, also, I have less control over what's going on. <laughs> in that content. That guy named Jan, thanks for the nine month reset. Time to Rhea. My prime set. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know a lot of people enjoy that kind of content and that's great. It's just not not my thing. Or I should probably uh, get back on a dragon riding mount. I'm sure it's feeling better. I think my parrot's probably taking its nap by now. Playing so many games right now. It's hard. <sighs> I've been really into Hearthstone Battlegrounds and I think I need to put it down. I think I don't like who I'm becoming. <laughs> I need to just give it a break. Not forever. I'm not quitting for life, but like maybe until another season. Maybe I've done enough for this season. <laughs> How long did it take to get level 40 in Plunderstorm? Approximately 20 hours or so. Um, ballpark. I did a lot of it in duos with a much better partner carrying me. Um, I, I played a bunch of duos with my friend Flabby. I was going... Oh, oh, all the way north. I want this dirt because it could have maps in it, but it's going to be so far down! I can't! I can't lose that much elevation! I know that I have a regular flying mount. I don't care. It's going to take way too long. No, that's true. I did I did react to... I did react to Asmongold reacting to you. That's just um, YouTube law. <laughs> You have to you have to do the the um, ever ever circular diminishing snow globe within a snow globe uh, react sphere if um, if Asmin's involved because that's uh, you're you're just turning down money to not do that in, in terms of like algorithmic views anyway. So there is a cave. <laughs> New BG season in a few weeks maybe Miss Reedy. Hmm. I'm hoping they launch Hearthstone Battleground duos at some point. That would be cool. I might stream a little bit of that. So I found... I don't even think this counts as a cave. This is a... This is a building. <laughs> this is a ruin. Verace and Dale, thank you for the 15-month resub. Where? I mean, actually, you know what I could do is I could, instead of playing the Where Is It game, I have the Wowhead page posted, pulled up. So we can, we can look for in the cave on the ground. If I pull up that specific treasure, I'm sure someone has coordinates for the cave entrance. Such is not the case. Don't fly to it. The mountain is hollow near the top. Huge holes from the north, east, and south. 64, 15. 64, 15, and then up. That is what we're after. Isn't this where I just was? I must be mis misunderstanding something. Like, fundamental. Is 
in front of the large stone pillar between a few plants reachable through all of the passages. Because this is a dead end. This can't be it. There's nothing but entrances. What are caves if not natural buildings? Um, a great question. Here's another one. <laughs> I see pillars and plants. I see things lighting up and flashing. Remember our pal world? We abandoned those poor pals. They're probably just like doing gritty detective work on the ground and trying to solve the mystery of Bertha's murder. Yeah, I went real hard in Pal World and I burned out like all at once. <laughs> I think I just got distracted by other stuff. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, all right, all right. Much better. <laughs> Found it. I feel like I'm going to have another Pal World phase one day. Like, I, 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 I burned hot and fast and then out, but like one day I'm going to be in the right mood for it. And I'm going to go back in and it'll be everything I remembered it was. And maybe they'll have done like a ton of updates by then too. That's always possible. All right. So I am officially five treasures short of all three treasure achievements for which I need maps for which we need dirt. Um, I have a bunch of shovels. They can also be looted from expedition packs. Um, I heard from one source that they can also be looted from Tuscar tackle boxes until I see that. I don't know. I don't know if I trust that enough to like loot a ton of them. I'm just gonna end up with a bunch of fish. Uh, scout packs. I think I would farm these. There's a lot of these treasures here, but the trouble is like actually finding them. So I think I might try to farm in the Onaran Plains rather than here, just because the elevation I think is gonna be a real kicker. Is that a real cave? I don't think I even fit in there. You gotta be a gnome to go in that cave. Mm. Huh, I found some dirt. You know what you need? Pal World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Kitty Cat War, thanks for the six month threesome. Happy, happy year. Doing meta on your evoker? Just the pieces that I already started. Um, anything that I can do just as easily on my priest, I'm doing on my priest. But because I mained my evoker for two patches at the beginning of the expansion, a lot of things are already finished or like partially done on her. If I wanted to do this achievement to my priest, I'd have to loot a bunch of the treasures all over again and grind Dragon Scale Rep from scratch. So I'm kind of piecing it together. It's ugly, but it's it's, it's coming <laughs> coming along. My 445 Season 2 item level is only holding me back moderately. <sighs> hey, there's one. There's the Sorrowful Letter. Ooh, that's the last one we need in Azure Span. Woo! Let's go loot it. Let's go loot it. I'm gonna get a mount for looting that. Hazel, did you have a Tamagotchi? I didn't, I don't think I did. I had a nano pet. Is that a real thing or am I just inventing something? I think I had a knockoff nano pet. Yeah, that's what I had, that was it. It was a knockoff Tamagotchi. <laughs> oh, those are cute. I can't look at pictures. I'm going to want one again, which is ridiculous. Look at all of these treasures. I need them. <laughs> yeah, not a Neopet, although I also had a dramatic, uh, you know, relationship with those. <laughs> I went pretty hard on the Neopets. All right, I can't leave until I've looted at least most of this stuff. Disturb dirt over here. I think that once you're you found a bunch of the treasures, um, regular flying mounts are the are the way to go. I think that dragon riding is good for like distances, but you want the regular one for precision. I made my mom babysit mine since I couldn't bring it to school. Who didn't have a new pet face? Interesting. I'd not heard of Adventure Quest, but I spent a lot of time on Neopets. Okay. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna fuss too much about the magic chests. 
I might just head for the uh, the fast travel because I have to get all the way to the south south part of the zone for the uh, the jewel box. And uh, that's a long way. Still strange to see you back in your evoker. Mm -hmm. It is a bit strange. <sighs> Prevoker was fun. <laughs> I remember my strongest Prevoker memory is we were doing Vortex Pinnacle. And it was pre-nerf Vortex Pinnacle. And it was on a key level that was admittedly a little bit uh, much for our item level and the point in the expansion that we were at. And we were trying to get through the last boss, and there was so much damage from those ad orbs that spawn. Um, and then it turned out that, like, the lightning things that target people, even if you didn't... Even if you did them correctly and you spread out, just the, the initial target from the lightning roots would, like, kill somebody if that somebody was our evoker. <laughs> like, our other evoker. Um, so in order to beat that, I was, I was, I got a notepad out, because we were in there for like an hour plus working that last boss, it was nuts. I got my notebook out and I was trying to math out the different points in time, not math, but like experiment and figure out where exactly I needed to use my different cooldowns to fit them into stasis to have the right amount of throughput to get us through each of those pain points. And I eventually figured out something that would work, but only if Terry didn't get the roots. <laughs> And then we did it until it RNG'd and he didn't get the roots in the, at the right at a specific juncture where it was always a one shot. And I'll always remember that because I, I just felt like that meme of the person with the board and all of the um, the red string between all of the pins being like, okay, so we're going to use we're gonna use our dream bloom here, and then we get a triple charge spirit bloom here. But we're gonna put one of the uh, I, I'm forgetting all the names of them because it's been a long time. I just I had it all planned out and I felt crazy. Yeah, I had a murder board. <laughs> That's how Sanguine Depths worked. I must not have done that when it was like that cutting edge hard. I definitely had to talk to myself to not get rolled over by the big orb that went around in circles around that like ring room. All right, we ready for an achievement? I'm gonna get a mail. If I can find it. <laughs> Woo! Also, uh, oh no, the, I already know the toy. That's weird. Oh, it's because I looted this exact treasure. I already had the map on my priest, but it didn't matter that I had it on my priest. And I needed to get it again. <sighs> One tr bestowed. Trawling Mammoth. For me. Bestowed. Trawling Mammoth. So bestowed is the keyword for all of these mounts that are part of the smaller meta. So this is the Kalowak one. Or not Kalowak, pardon me. Tuscar. Iskara Tuscar. I'm always getting the Tuscar mixed up. It's got a bunch of bunch of luggage. Um the bird is from Wake Me Up, which is I think Dragon Scale Expedition. You'd think it would be in our own planes, but it's not. The Audic is from why are they why are they all mixed up the Audic is a gift from brina the ascara that sent their companions to watch over caligos and the family in veldraken because flight club is the feldrazis one and then this is this is the time walking one and then that is for centaur that makes at least a little bit more sense tarvold was a mess every time Berilio was the planning boss mm. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. Now I need more. I need more treasures. They are actually they're actually happening for us. Also, since I'm in this zone. Uh, although I am doing it, I was gonna say since I'm in the zone, I can see there's a new. Oh no, that's the big dig. I'm looking for the grand hunt. Did the hunt move? Yeah, the hunt's in the waking shores. I should probably do that on my priest to keep finding the disgruntled hunters. What is this? Disturbed dirt. There's a dirt pile somewhere. <laughs> the discunters, if you will. Mm -hmm, 
my sweet peas are starting to climb up my homemade trellis. I was too cheap to buy an actual trellis and I had some old bamboo stakes, which are stakes, but they're like very smooth. So I had some old twine and I've like tied that onto the bamboo stakes to kind of like DIY a trellis in there. And they're wrapping their little, their little curly plant feelers onto them. Mm, scout pack, disturb dirt. I'm sure your peas will not mind your stinginess. Yeah, they seem happy enough. I'm, uh, <laughs> given that I have not a ton of investment in the success of my garden, it's kind of an experiment in how lazy can I get away with being. I also play a game of how can I limp along the same potting soil just by amending it <laughs> and allowing it to further compost in upon, upon itself. I'm sure there is some wisdom somewhere that says you should discard and then completely replace fresh your potting soil in your planters every year. And for some things, I maybe I would if I cared that much, but like, I don't know. They I just kind of overwinter them and then I top dress them with worm castings from my bin and then maybe top it up with a bit of fresh potting soil to like replace the stuff that's like composted down. And everything seems happy. Uh, I think it would be different if I ended up with like blight, but for for now, so far, so good. <laughs> I'm too cheap to buy more. Yeah, there. Garden self-water, different plant thing you have. Self-water. I don't think I have any garden things that self-water. Sometimes it rains. <laughs> Sometimes um, some of the plants in the balcony, depending on where they are relative to the overhang, some of them get rained on. But in the summertime, I have to I have to water everything properly. Oh yeah, the hydroponic thing. I have to add water to that too. It does, it does consume water over time. But yeah, I set that up in my office again. I've got some basil. It's part of why I'm so luminescent from from my right side of my face. Don't mind me checking my left and right on my hands like a five-year-old. Uh, I'm it's over it's over on on my right side. <laughs> Although I guess you're only really topping it up with water when it evaporates slash gets drunk by the plants. Um, I don't know where that scope pack is, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> take a short break. I'll do another hunt when I get back in my priest, and then we'll look for more treasures. Beer be. Living your best dirty life. <sighs> People come tend to your plants. I uh, I don't. I kind of famously don't go anywhere. <laughs> I would be the person tending to my neighbor's plants. I'm the one. I'm the one who's always around. <sighs> I need one achieve to earn the dragon meta. It rewards three mounts. It's a world quest. Never seems to pop. Oh, I'm sorry. Hoping to see you. No, no, no. I'm not involved in that. I'm sure it's, uh, I, I, I hope everybody's having a nice time. Mm. All right. I saw that there was a dra a hunt. A grand hunt. Let's see your dragon bin keep. I saw that there was a grand hunt in... thought it was in the Waking Shores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand hunt in the Waking Shores. Go have a little look-see. And then the... The storm's down, right? Like, there's gonna be another storm up in another 40 minutes. I think I get two of them per stream. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to start doing storms off stream at some point. Or I could just take a long time to finish this achievement. I guess I don't know exactly how, how soon I'm expecting to do it. I'm kind of feeling like it's gonna be a couple weeks, but I don't know on what I'm basing that. Alright. Job, find the Grand Hunt Horn. It's not that one. It's gonna be a different horn on the map somewhere. Grand hunt. I can hear that I've crashed. Oh, there it is. One of six hunts remaining. Oh, it's almost done. <laughs> wait, wait. I can see where I'm going. Don't finish it. I wonder if people are doing the hunts again because of these achievements, like just to move them along. Or I guess, you know what? There's actually other achievements that you would need as well. Um. Um. Oh, he's right there. He's literally right in front of me. Hi. Hello. Okay. There we go. And I got a bag from the Grand Hunt. There you go. Because, yeah, there's definitely an achievement for 
across the aisles, center of attention. Uh, collecting all the hunting companion colors, and you need to farm those out of hunt bags. I'm sure people are doing hunts for that reason. Aloha, Mora. Thanks for the 27 month reset. Appreciate it. <sighs> and you, Red Bull fan? Oh, man. I think that um, if I had an energy drink, like an entire one on my own, I would just start vibrating and become invisible to the human eye. What's the most clickbaity video you've ever made? Are we saying clickbait in the, in terms of the video promises one thing that it does not offer? Like it has a thumbnail of like, I don't know, a building exploding and then the content of the video is nothing to do with buildings, explosion, or fire? Or are we just saying like a sensational title? Because I make lots of those. <laughs> that's, that's just the game. Creepy gem cluster. Did I not? Did I get a thing and I didn't? I guess I can just loot it to make it go away. There's the next hunt. And I can see, thanks to my palm points, where the next thing is. Zero effort into a hunt and get credit for it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've seen Zoe cast some WoW stuff. I, I couldn't tell you what, but it sounds familiar. I feel I, I know I've seen her for a million years in the Overwatch stuff, but this one here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go find that disgruntled hunter. Shocked, racked face, stock photo, title that includes the words "not clickbait." Yeah, I can't say that I've ever done the asterisk emotional asterisk. <laughs> Five tips to help you get WoW treasure achievements. Shocking. <gasps> it's a bit goofy. I can't bag on it too much because it's <laughs> this is kind of the game. You can be too good for the game or you can pay your rent. It's kind of a pick one. I'm talking to Hemet. Thank you very much. That's nice. Also, people are like cranking the hunts in this zone. Not mad at that. Here's a personality question. If you get invited to a party and you don't want to go, do you say yes or no? Hmm. It would depend. So this is a hypothetical universe because I don't get invited to parties. Um, in this hypothetical universe, it depends on how often does this happen? Because if every day somebody invites me to a party and I don't want to go to any of them, I would go to like one every now and then, assuming that they are reasonable parties. I, you know, if people are like, engaging in illegal activity I probably don't want to be there <laughs> not trying to witness anything but if they're just you know normal nice age-appropriate parties then I would try to go to one at a semi-regular basis and then try to politely decline from all the intermediate ones but if I'm only getting invited to like one party a year then I make myself go because um I would regret not having done it, and I feel like I should make at least six or seven memories in my life before I die. <laughs> hmm. oh, thanks, Karaoke Banshee. Hmm. Is that why you didn't come to my birthday party last week? All of the illegal activities? I didn't get an invite. Which means that I didn't go. And I missed out on the goodie bag. <sighs> you wear your jail dress to every party. Weddings only, and I need to get it. Actually, I don't know if I need to get it tailored. <laughs> I need to try it on again before the next before the next wedding to find out if it fits me or not. It was it didn't fit me properly the first time. Um, however, I think I'm out of weddings. I don't know anybody else that's gonna get married. <laughs> Everybody that I know is either already married or not not gonna. Um, uh, is basically where th where that's at. I don't think I know any mar marriageable candidates. <sighs> Oh, uh, I, the, I, I, okay. Background on the jail dress. It's, it's like not even a story. I went to a wedding. I went to a family wedding a couple summers ago and I posted a photo to Instagram and the backdrop was, it wasn't in a jail, but the backdrop made people think of jail. <laughs> so that, so the dress that I wore in that photo has become the jail dress. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the whole joke. Is there one upcoming? A wedding? No. 
No, no. <sighs> Am I going back to loot more? I mean, actually, if I can, if I just participate in the hunt, then it'll be over faster, and then it'll move to a new location, and then I can, if I get all of the Waking Shores um, hunters found, then that would be, that would be nice. We can do that. Is it time rift soon? Uh, zero, zero passed. I think I missed one. I think I forgot to check one. It's big hunt soon, but I'm, uh, pretty much all good on that, on that front. That's a world quest. Did the hunt over? Oh yeah, Grand Hunt Spoils. There you go. Now we just have need to wait for the next one and hope that it's in a new location. Because I need one more Waking Shores spot and then I'm good for a little bit. If you were a different person, you could make up a whole story about how you were in jail in that dress, but you are not that person. <sighs> what would I go to jail for? Do they incarcerate people for jaywalking? <laughs> the scrundled hunter went surprisingly fast, which was nice. Still waiting on the storm. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of which, is there another storm up somewhere? It was Azur's ban? No, there'd be a new one. I guess I could check Wowhead. Or maybe I'm waiting for another half hour for another storm. Next storm in 30 minutes. Okay, that's right, that's right. Oh, let's go talk to the the, the hunts up. Let's go talk to the guy. <laughs> Tax efficient because your accountant is a scoundrel. Listen, my accountant is a fine professional. Venerable, I would say. <laughs> Puts up with me, which is a big, big benefit. They earn their dollars just with that. I think there's a story. Let me check the Hazel fanfic archive. <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh oh. I'm fallen. I'm free fallen. What if I was your accountant? If you were my accountant, I would probably... I would be mildly concerned. We might have it, but we it, it could be for the best. I feel like your energy and your 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 let's do it attitude could have really helped me get all of my things collected. What I need is for you to like just come hang out and just like stare at me while I organize all of my documents. <laughs> I need a I need a body double. I'm going to get on a regular flying out and I'm gonna go talk to that guy up there on the hill. But if you were actually in charge of, like, interacting with the various government agencies, I would be mildly nervous. Not because I don't think you can do it, but um, because you're too much fun. I want... I need, I need, I need accountants to be at least a little bit boring or else I don't trust, I don't trust that they're doing it right. You have too much life left in your eyes. Disgruntled hunter. So the hunt is still up. The guy should be around here somewhere. Is he, is he down here on the hill? Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, so we should be all set now on the Waking Shorts hunt. Good, okay. The classic accountant stair service. Uh, no, I haven't found that out yet. I'm really hoping and trying not to stress too much about it. I need to organize some more things. I was looking for a bunch of documents for a while, like waiting for documents, and I found out now that they won't ever come. They don't exist. It's not a thing. I have to create the document on my own with my access to my own info because life can't possibly be easy. But at least now I know that, so I can I can do it. I have started. What am I doing? I'm going to loot treasures. That's right. No, not forgery, just self-reporting. When I lived in the States, a lot of my income sources would issue me 1099s, and I was kind of waiting for something like that, and it turns out that in Canada, if for, it's not that there aren't documents like that, there are, but for because I'm not dealing with Canadian agencies, I generally have to, have to assemble my own data and self-report it, and then keep all my records in case that I get audited. Oh, and it's annoying because it's more work. Happy Saturday, Hazel and Chat. Happy Saturday. Hmm. 
99 seems expensive for a four. Mm -hmm. I live in permanent jealousy of places in the world where your taxes are generally speaking figured out for you um, and are not like an enormous life admin task that is spooky and scary and you're in trouble if you do it wrong uh, because it's like the thing in my life that I'm most allergic to. I have no problem with paying taxes. I save funds for that specifically. I haven't been short on that front since I was 21 years old. Uh, 19 years old. I have one, I had one, I had one instance that traumatized me that has made me <laughs> save very carefully so I can afford my taxes. But, um, but, uh, the process of, the process of actually filing has been life ruining for my whole life. What are we doing? We are going, we're just looting treasures. We're just doing our best here. Paid for an accountant to do my stuff for the first time ever this year and he screwed it up. Oh no. There is a discord. Um, there is a discord for, for the stream community to hang out. I won't misrepresent and say that I'm there a lot. I'm basically never there, mm. but word on the street is that it's a cool place to be. Did it myself in the end. Oh man. <sighs> Imagine how much value gets lost every year from people doing their taxes for months on end. The work that could be done in that time. For me, it's like the it's the emotional weightlifting of I've gotten myself so anxiously wound up about this thing that hangs over me every year that um that I am dedicating huge amounts of like time and emotional effort just into managing that that it's not even it's not even the time that it takes to put it all together which is not an insignificant amount of time but it's the uh, you know it's the it's all of the despair that goes along with it and then you know your therapy bills for dealing with the despair etc etc do you sometimes post there? Usually a stream that's canceled. Yep, <laughs> that's true. I have my Hazel Announcements channel, which is the place that I go to call in sick from work. I say, hello, not streaming. Sorry, see you later. Boy. Straightforward situation stresses me out every time. Whole other thing if you're self-employed. I'm just happy that this year the inter-country thing is a little bit more straightforward. It's still... It's still more complicated than a basic thing because I'm earning money from multiple places in the States than bringing it into Canada. But at least I'm no longer considered a resident of the United States because that was ugly. <laughs> that was so gross. But we're good now. We're cool. I've been gone long enough and I didn't stay there for such time that I can be considered American anymore for tax purposes. So that's a big relief. I am looking for a scout pack that I guess is halfway up this tree. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. One map, please. No? Okay. <laughs> Favorite thing about calling in sick for work is the fake sick voice everyone uses. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> you gotta cover for me. I've got the plague. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> See through Thanks for the raid. <sighs> Disturb dirt. Dirt. Right. Yeah, this is at least another good way to get a bunch of, uh, something. <laughs> I guess, uh, no, never mind. I was gonna say all of these artifacts I can turn in for rep, and those will get me supplies, and I guess that's kind of technically true, because the artifacts are account bound, so I can send them to my priest and she can get dragon scale rep with them. Yeah. I miss doing that voice for my restaurant days. <laughs> You should really do your announcements in a voice message. <laughs> uh-huh. I just start posting voice notes to the Discord. How freaky would that be? Apparently some people communicate with their friends, not by text message, but by texting voice notes. And that intrigues me to no end. Because on one hand, it sounds more personal. And on the other hand, it sounds freaky. Like it 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 makes all of my muscles braid. <laughs> kind of like a walkie-talkie. Yeah. I it like I'm a little jealous. It sounds it sounds kind of personal and nice. These voice notes and DMs on Discord, it's actually really nice. 
what would you say to the Discord? If I'm not streaming, exactly the same thing that I say in the in the note, which I'll have you know, I have to write out in drafts on a on a like a computer notepad before I figure out what I'm actually posting to the Discord. Even though all I'm saying is, see you Thursday. <laughs> it has to go through editing. Tell how they're feeling, responding a lot better. Mm -hmm. Daughters' friends do that. Cannot quite figure out what it is that I dislike about Discord. Cannot stand that service. Hmm. I feel like it works. It's I like it well enough for what it is. I've come to realize that my problem isn't with any particular communication platform. My problem is with communicating. <laughs> Um, so I generally avoid all forms of communication evenly. I didn't used to be like that. I used to enjoy doing things like getting and sending texts and IMs with friends and family and whatnot. I don't know what happened. Um, scout pack. Inside, maybe. Because, <laughs> like, when I was a teenager, I spent, I spent a ridiculous amount of time texting just like everybody else did. I don't know about what. Nothing, I'm assuming. Telling people how you feel through text is why emojis were invented. I'm all about the uh, the react. Both Discord and iMessage have a thing where you can react with like an emoji or something like that. And I love that because sometimes I just want to acknowledge that I've received a message without continuing a conversation. Like sometimes it's just like a, a basic thing. Like somebody will be like, okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there at like five. And I'm just, I just want to acknowledge that I received that so that I know, so that they don't think that I'm, like, down a ditch or something like that. But, you know, they're, like, on their way. We're not, like, we'll talk when they get there kind of thing. I'm not trying to, trying to have a conversation about it. So I like the reacts just to kind of acknowledge that I've received something and that I'm, that I've found it acceptable. <laughs> <sighs> you grew up. I, I'm arguably true, but also I don't know if becoming an adult means cutting yourself off from all of the social sources in your life. I think some adults have friends. They might even speak with them now and then. When I want to communicate with my husband, I'll send him a message on Discord. Hour later, go and find him. Ask if you saw it. Tell him what it was, because he usually didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my partner will ask me if I saw their texts, and I'll be like, no, I missed it, I'm sorry. And then he'll tell me that it was like a picture of Moose. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, hang on, I'll go get it right now. Something that I'm really not adept at is people using Discord as like a, like the text channels as a social thing. Like I don't know how people keep up with text channels or people using Discord as like a guide repository and they have like stickies and pinned messages that supposedly have all of the information. Um, that's a big thing with like class discords and stuff is this idea that, you know, you go to the class discord and you can get better at your class. And I go to the class discord and I'm just like roaming around and I'm like, this is a meme. There's five people talking about their lunch. There's three people cryptically talking about an unnamed third party. And there's somebody complaining that the class is broken. <laughs> and like all of the information to get better at the class is in the discord. I'm just terrible at navigating it. I just don't understand in that format. Like I'm much more used to like a wowhead style guide that is subsectioned out with like hyperlinks to each section. Five people could turn out for the lunch discord. <laughs> Comet I've noticed can't deal with it. Yeah, it just seems like it's a great thing for socializing, but it's poorly organized for being an information source. I like a good wiki. <laughs> you don't care about other people's lunch? It's a little weird since you talk about yours nearly daily. Listen, when you got three hours a day to fill dead air all by yourself, <laughs> well, not all by yourself, I'm talking to you guys, but... You will share anything that comes to mind, more or less, give or take. <laughs> mm. Anyone else bummed that the pirate dragon riding mount from Plunderstorms isn't swooping behind you? I didn't really think about that. 
There are mounds that, that come in like that, aren't there? I remember some of them would scare me. Because I thought that somebody was following me, but it was my own mount. That's why we sometimes feed you topics of possible interest. Which I greatly appreciate. <laughs> the previous dragon riding mount swooping behind you. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's what I'm thinking of. I was wondering if I could sell that BOE for any appreciable amount of gold, and the answer is no, not really. <laughs> uh, would you be more or less happy if you would mount up instantly without animation and cast time? Probably more happy? That's like, that's why druids, that's how druids get out of bed in the morning, is they, they go, you know what, at least I don't have a cast time on my mount. I don't think that the cast time is like super important to me, but the animation does kind of smooth it over a little bit. I need to get my hand warmers. My hands are freezing. The rest of me is doing okay, but hang on. Follow up question Where did I stash them? Aha. Make a blanket nest with my own sweaters over here. Oh, congrats, the fries gave me. Hard to sit in your hands and play. Although I guess it's hard, also hard to hold hand warmers and play. Should we do both of them? Just one? Let's try that. <laughs> Cast time amounts is the definition of wasted time. Hmm. I don't think you're wrong. But I think defining which time in games is and is not wasted is a little bit of a slippery slope. Because if you take out all of the quote-unquote downtime, I think that the experience of playing the game would become very frenetic. It would become chaotic. It would be not a relaxing thing if every single moment, like, either input is required from you or action is happening. If you took out all of the little downtimes and quiet moments of the game, I think that the whole thing would become kind of stressful. And one could argue that the purpose of the game in the first place is to relax and kick back and take it easy. At least in some, some respects. So I think there's a place for things even as small as like travel time and mount animation and flight paths. Because without them, you would be missing something. You know, you have to have a quiet space in music to make the whole song a nice experience. Tactician 55, thanks for the two month resub. A concept, by the way, that I did not understand <laughs> for an extremely long time. Uh, whenever creating anything in my school years, um, I, I lived by a very maximalist more is more ethos. All the ideas, all the words, as many as possible, all the time. But yeah, I don't think that mount animation specifically is the problem. I'm just, I'm just musing. Like I said, <laughs> three hours, gotta fill some air. Tactician 55, thanks for the two month so A horror game where you have to manually breathe. Oh my goodness. What if you only had to manually breathe when your character starts panicking? Because the whole time would be obnoxious. Uh. <laughs> That's the point. True. Thirty. So in another twelve minutes, important threshold for my achievement because we get to check to see A, what's invading in the next time rift, B, what the new elemental storm is. That's it. I think those are the only two things that are of note. I think our world quests are pretty much toast for the rest of the week because tomorrow's my last stream of the week and I don't think we get any new world quests tomorrow. I think we're, we're stuck with the ones we got. 
I don't think we're, yeah, cataloging for two days, 21 hours, so I think that the next ones will be with the next weekly reset. One, two, three, four. I need four more treasure maps. Right? What if, I haven't gotten any, have I? I got a toy. I would notice if I got treasure maps, right? Maybe I should check my bags, clean them up. I've got maps and not noticed. Okay. You would notice. Maybe. Let me turn on my... I was using an add-on for auto-vendoring. Koshi-san, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. I forget what it was called. Was it Scrap? I've had a million add-ons for this over the years. I was using Scrap. You'd be surprised what I can not notice. That's how I that's how I feel too. Sometimes people will try to make me feel better, just in general life by being like, oh no, don't worry, you'll definitely be able to to do X thing, or you'll notice Y thing, or this thing will be fine for you. And I'm like, don't underestimate how useless that can be. <laughs> That'll just make me feel double worse when I get into that situation and I actually can't do it. Alright. So I've auto-repaired. And now we're vendoring the junk. And it's not a junk item, so it wouldn't get auto-vendored. That is a toy that we can delete. That's a duplicate toy. I don't think I need the swag coins or the Dream Surge Coalescence. Our stone wild cards. Soul Inhaler. The Elementius Splinter. Warcraft Rumble Welcome Water. <laughs> The duck egg. I can get rid of the duck egg. I already have the, the duck pet. I have better invis pots. I'm not too worried about the crafting stuff. Mm. I probably don't need to hold on to old trinkets from previous seasons. If I was going to play this character again, I would get new ones anyway. Alright, I do not have maps. <laughs> Anything else I can get rid of here? The splinter is just profession knowledge. <laughs> Challenge accepted. You don't want them to say ahead of time or at all that you're useless? Then you won't be able to do something. No. No. I think sometimes... What do I want? <laughs> Maybe this is why I don't talk to people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I want help. I think usually usually it doesn't go well. Sometimes I'll, sometimes something helps, but I don't know if that's a science that you can get down. Sometimes the same message from a different source will have a completely different impact. We're gonna post those up for 30k. That would be kind of nice. Anything else I can get rid of here that like won't come back? I don't know. All this is gonna come back eventually because we're looting these from various things that we're farming, and it just feels kind of nice to get things out of your bags. I only have 21 charges left. I need more shovels. <laughs> There's not that many of them on the auction house, which makes me like... They're doing that on purpose. Makes me nervous. I'm gonna run out. At least my druid is slower in druid form than when I use a mount. Uh, flight form shouldn't be. Flight form should be the exact same mount speed. And then ground form depends on whether or not you're in combat. If everyone's digging for treasure, sell shovels. Yeah. Never been truer. I really thought I was done the dirt grind. I was dirt par pile farming for... 
you know what the problem is? Is I think I did my dirt pile farming for the mount. No, I did do it on this character because I don't think I finished Dragon Scale Expedition rep on my priest, and you needed to have the rep done in order to get the the mount to drop. And I farmed enough dirt piles to and expedition packs to get the mount. There's just a lot of treasure maps that I didn't finish, I suppose. I think people mean well when they offer advice. Delicate. Sometimes the other person just wants to be heard. Yeah. I think unsolicited advice is the thing that goes astray with me sometimes. Is if I didn't ask for help and people are well-meaningly trying to offer it anyways. Um, that's usually more of a minefield than like if I ask for advice from a friend. Then I'm much less... <laughs> You know, it's, I'm usually in a better place to, like, listen to it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think that's very normal. There. I get excited whenever I see, like, a whole pile of stuff from the dirt, but then I'm, like, looking through the list and being like, well, there's an artifact, and there's a copper healing potion and there's a singular flight stone <laughs> one individual flight stone guys where's my map no i haven't done the bakar petting achievement i had some mild unformed thought about doing that last because what a cute way to finish your achievement <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of nice? Like the last thing I need for the World Awoken is just to go around and pet a bunch of dogs. Sometimes people stating a problem they're having is interpreted as a request for help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, I do. I'm not perfect either. I do this too. Um, I have to remind myself that unless people are like asking for help, they're usually not. Just when they're sharing their feelings. And that even if I feel like I have great ideas, that doesn't mean that my ideas are helpful or solicited. Um, and that's something I have to remind myself of, too. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big old know-it-all. Some people just want to vent. One of the dogs? Not always up. Mm. Well, that's a bummer. I always assume people are asking for help if they vent to me and then they get frustrated. I can never tell. I have a friend that does a really good job of I'll be venting and they'll be like, would you like some advice or are, would you would you like ideas or whatnot? And they genuinely mean that and no is a perfectly valid answer. And they'll just they'll just check. They'll be like, hey, do you? Do you, do you want do you are you looking for some advice you just want to kind of vent and it's it doesn't come across as condescending it comes across as like very considerate and it's great because then sometimes sometimes i do and sometimes i don't yeah do you want solutions or coffee exactly usually <laughs> both You know what I watched yesterday? Just because I was curious as to whether... Like, I had a feeling that I wouldn't vibe with it. But I was just kind of curious because I hadn't seen it in a million years. I put on, on a whim, the pilot episode from Home Improvement. Tim Allen's Home Improvement, which aired from like 91 to 98. And I was like, I don't really remember what this was about. I vaguely remember Tim Allen's book about... It was like a semi-autobiographical book talking about how he had made mistakes when he like went to jail for drug tra drug trafficking or something and then like I don't know. Hopefully learned some lessons I don't really remember. <laughs> I was just running out of stuff to read in the house. And I put on the first episode. Oh man. It was it was a little bit funny. I'm not I don't think I'm going to watch any more of it. This guy. 
I remember the guy behind the fence. I thought that we never saw the face of the guy behind the fence. I remember that being like a big kind of um, intrigue of the show that you don't see Wilson's face. But you kind of see Wilson's face. He's not really hiding. It's just that he's not like fully on camera, you know. Maybe they, maybe he becomes more secretive in later seasons. But in the pilot, you can more or less see the guy. <laughs> Tim the Toolman Taylor. Yeah. I was ready to bundle him up and throw him in the ocean in that first episode. Like, <laughs> it was just, uh, it was something. The guy who played Wilson. It's the same volleyball from Castaway. Mm. Ironically, couldn't stand Raymond. Raymond, Raymond didn't click with me either. We we had a lot of sitcoms of that era on in the house though when I was growing up. I liked Frasier a little better, but that was because I had like a childhood crush on Niles. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the, the dynamics of those stories was necessarily the the thing that I needed to see growing up. <laughs> uh, Master Guada, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. I have not seen the Frasier reboot, no. I love Frasier. My aunt worked on the show. Yeah, I later, when I got older, I like went back and, and was like looking through images from the show, and I was like, really? This was the thing that I was like really excited about? And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three favorite TV shows in the U.S. I've never heard of either of them. What's your favorite sitcom? I think that's still Friends. Um, it hasn't aged perfectly, but I loved it so much when I was growing up that it's, I still have a soft spot for it. Sad that I can no longer enjoy Frasier. Uh, no, I've never seen Dinosaurs. If I didn't know better, I would say you guys are pranking me by inventing a thing that didn't exist that sounds as outrageous as possible. <laughs> Uh, what's after Friends? What other sitcoms did we watch that I, like, liked? Mind you, I'm not vouching for the content of any of these because it's been a million years and I'm sure they're all messy. Uh, we watched Will and Grace to some extent. We watched... Frasier was on, Home Improvement was on, Raymond was on. I couldn't stand Raymond. What else was there? Anthropomorphic dinosaurs? It was a Jim Henson show. Oh. The Big Bang Theory came later, and I'm not I'm not too ashamed to say that I do like that one. That's probably in the top three. Popular Canadian sitcom of that era. Let me Google that, because I bet you there were Canadian sitcoms of the 2000s. Oh yeah, people watch Corner Gas. I didn't watch Corner Gas. I wasn't too good for it or anything like that. I'm sure it was fine. It was just, I, I would see ads for it, but we never, we never put it on. What are these shows? <laughs> I'm, I'm like looking at a big Google sheet. I don't know any of these. I don't think they were on the, they were on the channel. Oh yeah, Seinfeld was on. I think I liked Seinfeld more at the time. Some of it holds up. Ellie McBeal. Dislike Big Bang Theory, like Young Sheldon. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Degrassi is a show. That's where that's where um, my assistant Drake got his big start. <laughs> I've never seen Degrassi, but I know that Jake Drake played a character named Jimmy in that show. No, I was not a Degrassi kid. <laughs> I like Kim Possible. <laughs> and then what did I watch when I was older? When I was like a teenager, I must have had like teenage shows. I think when it, by the time I became like a tween and a teenager, I was watching anime um, with my friends. I was that kid. <laughs> Degassi show about indigestion in high school. This hour and 22 minutes in Royal Canadian Air Force. Political spoofs. Those ring a bell. Height of sci-fi, regenesis, stargates, and everything. Yeah, I've told you guys before how I used to watch um, like a cheap show called Beastmaster. And I used to watch it in the mornings after the rest of my family left to go to school and work. I had like, for, for a short period of my life, um, I had the latest school start and my bus came last. So I had like 40 minutes in the morning where I was home alone. And I would, I would put on, I would make like lunch food for breakfast because no one could stop me. And I would put on 
Beastmaster. No, not the cartoon. It was a live action. It was trashy. Uh, I loved it to pieces. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was real good. Live action beefcake vehicle. <laughs> you betcha. It wasn't just beefcakes, there were women too. There was like an enchantress, there was a sorceress. Yeah. I need to find it again. I'm kind of, I would watch that again, I think. I think I'm at the right point in my life to give that a revisit and find out how horrified I am. Related to the movie. Yeah, there were ferrets. There were definitely ferrets. I'm going to look this up again. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Aired from 99 to 2002, loosely based on the 1982 film The Beastmaster, which was itself loosely adapted from the novel The Beastmaster by Andre Norton. Aired 66 episodes over three complete seasons. Yeah! Hang on. That was the vibe. <laughs> Good stuff. Alright. Treasures. So, you know, how I turned out like this is a real mystery. <laughs> Holy loincloth, Batman. <laughs> Couldn't imagine what the teen appeal for a teenager would be. No, not at all, right? I wouldn't tell any- I don't think I told anybody I watched it either. I don't think I told my friends at school. I don't think I told my parents. I don't think I told my sister. Nobody. Is this open? Can I just get this? Yeah. All makes sense now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now the world knows. Eh, at least a dozen of you anyway. There's dirt. Oh, was there dirt in that cave? There might have been dirt in that cave. Vaguely remember it now that you show the image. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I can find it again. Favorite show of the 90s is Highlander. I haven't watched that, but it was on my list. Android Milk Naturals. Oh, it's 11 6. Okay. We have a new storm. Where is it? Where is it? It's a fiery storm in the Onaran Plains. Anybody waiting for a fiery storm in the Onaran Plains? Step right up. I'm going to start with that. Well, oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Before we get too excited. Um, there is a time portal. Scourge invaders, old gun invaders. That doesn't help me. All right. Onaran Plains. That wasn't the storm. Ugh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Retraction, retraction, official retraction. Although you can see how I'd get confused, right? <laughs> Come on. Is it Azur's fan again? Where is it? Where is it? It is the Azur's fan again. I'm so sorry. It's Earth in the it's Earth in the Azur's fan. <sighs> I'm just I just pranked somebody, I'm sure. How can you possibly get confused with all these map icons? I don't know if it's more or less embarrassing if I watched Chippendale's Rescue Rangers because I had a crush on Gadget Hack Ranch. <laughs> part of me feels sorry for the storm chasing people and part of me is evilly laughing. Wish there was a way to win big in the storm icons. They get hidden behind the world quest I find. Yeah. My biggest TV movie crushes when I was like 14 through 16 was Orlando Bloom in Lord of the Rings and then Orlando Bloom in Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> those those were it. That was the that was the vibe. Uh magic bad. Scout pack, scout pack. I was yeah, I mean we have time. I said Orlando Bloom in Lord of the Rings.
Pretty sure I was convinced Dana Scully was the love of my life when I was a teenager. Have you seen the interviews with Kate McKinnon? Uh, I think that's something that you share with her. <laughs> that was apparently Kate McKinnon's uh, awakening was realizing that that was not just like a regular fixation. I'm going to the Odarn Plains. Or not the Odarn Plains, Azure Span. Yeah, I had a I had a Kate McKinnon face, and uh, she mentions it in some of her late night interviews. Speaking of late night interviews, I finally watched um, Greg and Alex on Seth Meyers. It was fun. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> that was good. I'm glad there's another season of Cat Taskmaster on the way. Had a guy that came to fix our garage roller door that looked exactly like Orlando Bloom. Uh, if you haven't watched Greg and Graham Norton yet, you should. It's the best. I have not seen Greg and Graham Norton yet. <laughs> I might look it up. I would enjoy that. I do like Greg. I've seen not all of his stand-up, I'm sure, but like a good chunk of it. The main stuff that's on YouTube. Okay, I need to not get too sidetracked with looting treasures, because I don't need to loot the treasures on this character. Yeah, you can skip the bosses for Shark Pit. You just have to kill the last one. It was just after the Lord of the Rings movies, too. Offered them a lot of coffee. <laughs> uh, have you heard the thing about how Canadians need to mention that famous people are Canadian? By the way, did you know Ryan Gosling is Canadian? I don't know if I did know Ryan Gosling is Canadian, but I am familiar with that, that thing. Because I will point out, if we're, like, watching a show and there's, like, an actor... Or if, like, I don't know, like a K-pop so song comes on and I'm like, that person's Canadian. <laughs> it's just, it's just like a essential trivia move. Mm. All right, I need to find a group for this because I ain't doing this by myself. Custom, find a group. Thorms. Azure Earth for Into the Storm. Earth, Ellie, Storm, Azure Span. Is this... This is like a big raid group. Does this still work? I'll just track the Sandstorm achievement and see if we're getting progress on it. There's people in the right area, at least. Relevant Canadian besides Gosling, though. <sighs> You'd be surprised. Some of them we claim more than others, depending on who you're talking to. What about me? <laughs> I mentioned people are from my small hometown and doing that for Canada, basically the same thing. Yeah, listen, there's only like 27 of us. We gotta look out for each other. There's 27 of us, and we're all sharing one house that's been subdivided into 14 different mailboxes. Out of well for a year, what is Plunderstorm? Plunderstorm is a completely different game mode that's been tacked onto the WoW launcher that has almost nothing to do with WoW except for giving cosmetic rewards in WoW if you do it. It's a battle royale mode. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a BR. It's fun. <laughs> they did a good job. Mm -hmm. 
various countries I've lived. People have always asked me if I know their relatives, but those relatives always live in Ontario. Yeah. Once in a while, not here, but in the States, somebody would be like, oh, hey, I know somebody from Vancouver. And that was like closer, but also <laughs> I, I would go, yeah, that's that's great. It's a, it's a, it's a neat place. I've been there twice. <laughs> But I'm not I'm not a very representative Canadian. I'm just one of them. I'm here to I'm here to hold down for the uh, Canadians that stay inside and go for short walks around their neighborhoods. Orlando Bloomer Leonardo DiCaprio. For what? Like a fist fight? Did you ask which Vancouver? <laughs> because the conversation started in reference to Canada, I'm assuming they mean Vancouver, BC, but in Oregon, Vancouver, Washington is a very real threat. <laughs> it's ever present looming on the northern border. You think you've escaped it, and then you look at Google Maps, and there it is again. <laughs> in a fist fight. Oh, who do I think I could take on? Neither of them. Um, I'd have to look up to see what they look like now and their relative ages to figure out who would win against each other. I kind of want to give the edge to Di DiCaprio, but I don't really know why. <laughs> I don't think I could win a fist fight against a stationary punching bag. I'm pretty sure that the rebound would take me out. I'm known for many things, and upper body strength and athleticism is not really <laughs> one of them. <laughs> covered in foam. What if I had a big stick covered in foam? This is going fine. I don't know if it's going super fast. I wonder if you have to be, if a party member of your party has to tag it for, for credit or if it just works no matter what. Never mind, it's not short at all. <laughs> Glad we straightened that out. I got excited and I thought I was 75% done, but that's just for disrupting the bracken height. <laughs> so I definitely get credit if I tag them. I don't know if, if I don't personally tag them, if it counts. Raid's not nearly as fast as parties. Yeah, I think I'm going to try a party. I think I'm... Uh... Oh. oh, I'm going to be dead, aren't I? <laughs> Whoops. Man, you can really... I mean, let's not get too excited too fast. You can really do... A lot of work with Vampiric Embrace. <laughs> I need to find a new group. But I just want to get out of combat so I can breathe for a second. Alright, find a group. There we go. Brand new baby party. Why people scare me more than buff people? Unpredictable and fast. <laughs> this is so 
suspicious. I wonder, they're probably just recruiting for like a carry group or something, but that's so suspicious. Ask for details. 10 minutes, 10 gold. Um, Azure Sandstorm. Whoever wants to invite me. But not the raid group. I was lucky they're right on top of me. Why does Blizzard always nerf things that I plan ahead and do ahead of time because I can tell they're going to be annoying? Oh, it's the, uh, the the flip side of the procrastinating coin. Sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. The trick is if something already looks really annoying, sometimes it's not a bad idea to, to wait and see if they see if they nerf it. Case in point, Blunderstorm. Um However, if it seems too good to be true, that's a good argument for doing it early, case in point. Fabius. <laughs> AKA that mount that I still don't have. The answer is always procrastinate. I think I'm still, even though I don't have Fabius, I think I'm still at a pretty big net positive for usually putting off wab grinds because often they do get easier the longer you wait. Not always, but enough times that it's been kind of worth it. Speaking of bad advice, Want to wish you happy, happy Easter. Thank you all for your company. Happy Easter, Dorda. I hope you have a great day. Yeah, this is going faster. Maybe not like crazy fast, but it'll do. At least you don't have to do all 3,200 mobs in like one sitting. I know it sucks waiting for the storms, and I'm sure it's going to suck even more once I need just like one last like firestorm from the waking shores or something like that, but... Are you going to partake in the Easter goat stampede tomorrow? I am afraid I don't have a goat in that race. <laughs> what? Is this, a is this a Victoria thing? Because I... If it isn't, I can go. I kind of want to see it. <laughs> I like goats. I want the Beacon Hill Park. What time is it? If I'm streaming, I can't. <laughs> but that sounds very cute. Let's play the patient game with the storms. Time to get the meta. Yeah. I have at least lots of stuff that I can that I also need for the meta that isn't time sensitive that I can use to kind of fill gaps. Like, like the world quest that I'm working on, the treasure hunting that I'm doing for the maps. Um, I can kind of fill gaps in between storms with that. And then once I get caught up with that stuff, I've got quest lines. Um, I've done almost none of the quests for Dragon Quest. I've only done one of those quest lines. So those will those will keep me busy for a while too. 10 a.m. Okay, no luck. I'm streaming. I'll be right here. I only needed 50 kills in my final storm and I saw it up with under five minutes left. Oh, that is brutal. I'm so sorry. The end of March snuck up on me. I feel like this month has gone very fast. Although, I say that every month, but it's true. It's been a quick one. Uh, now that you're rooted in Victoria, do you take time and enjoy the little things Victoria has to offer? Sometimes, depending on what we mean by little things. I saw a heron this morning just flying over the city. That was pretty cool. But I don't really go do a lot of events or go to venues or anything because it's just kind of not really who I am. Um, I'm also like giga cheap. And as much as I love being home and I like living here because I'm close to family, I don't really see myself as living permanently in Victoria because I know I can't afford to buy real estate here. So I'm like kind of hesitant to, to, I mean, I'm full of excuses as to why I haven't made any friends, but I don't, aside from getting to know my neighbors, I'm not really getting involved 
much because I don't want to get myself super rooted and then be heartbroken when I have to leave because I can't afford a mortgage in town. Live Victoria adjacent. Yeah, I might be kind of far Victoria adjacent. We'll have to see. Um, I'll, well, I'll have to see. I don't think I'll ever say where, where it is that I end up after this just for <laughs> security reasons. Victoria adjacent. Unless I just like end up in the woods. In which case it'll be like Hazel. Location? Woods. <laughs> Internet quality? Poor on rainy days. Miss the North Wilderness so much. Down south, way more lame. Mm. I'm sure there's cool things to love about that too. Like that for a bit where I am, decided to make friends anyways, and then the friends moved. Oh. I do feel like it took me about two years to really feel settled into my neighborhood and to kind of get to know all my favorite spots around here and to get to know some people and getting a dog helped a lot. Dogs are dogs are great icebreakers. I didn't even think of that before I got one. But I felt like it took me about two years to really feel at home here. <laughs> and I don't know if it's soon or not, but one day I'm going to have to start all over. I don't want to... <laughs> But unless I trip and fall into millions of dollars, I can't afford to buy a house here. As a fellow person that uses the same logic to avoid making IRL friends, doubt that it makes sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just full of excuses. Get a dog named Moose Jr. <laughs> What's the, the clinical term for a baby moose? There's got to be like a mooselet or a mooseling or a, a moose kid or something like that. Moose calf, probably. <laughs> Two years and four months for me since moving back. I grew up here and it's still a challenge to have your social group remember that you're around. Mm -hmm. Google says calf. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bad dog name, but... What about Calvin? <laughs> I really like your mooseling better. <laughs> Is my puppy a mooselet? <laughs> I mean, he's a puppy. Another couple of months, he's gonna be a dog. Technically. Whoa, Whoa. Ter terrible shadow crash. <laughs> Take that one and put it back. Sir Moosington. <laughs> Mr. Moostifer. Call him a moosling. Mosling. Play off of Goslin. Mm. I'm, I'm a big old mushy pile of goo, but he is my boo boo bear. I find all of the pet names are kind of interchangeable between pets, different pets, people. I don't think I have any one thing that I like only use for moose or only use for kitty cat, so to speak. Depending on on mood and situation, any variety of <laughs> people can be boo boo bear or honey bear or sugar pumpkin. Sugar bean is a good one. Hi, sugar bean. Oh yeah, need another six of these six creatures. We're, we're almost done with this. Also, look at all these echoes of the cave. I bet the prices for these storm pets has tanked since I'm adding these meta achievements. There are people farming these storms that have never even looked at them before. My kitty, my cat is Kitty Boo Boo, and pup is Bubba. I never really understood Bubba until I had a pup, and sometimes, sometimes Bubba happens. I think it started as pup pup, and then it becomes like, and then it just kind of morphs over time. <laughs> sometimes he's still pup pup. Costs one gold on my realm. I think if vendors for 30, <laughs> you could make a profit. You can just sell, buy them all and vendor them. Sugar pie honey bunches of oats poison types. <sighs> all right, thanks. Appreciate it, guys. That is one thing done. Sandstorm. Uh, hunts are still in the Onar, or pardon me, in the Waking Shores for another 30 minutes. 
Which I think means that I am back to... I think that means that I'm back to treasure hunting. Kitty is darling and my dog is buddy. Sometimes Moose is Moo Moo. Or just Moo. Come on, Moo. <laughs> People are going to think I'm confused. I've got a cow. What's up? How's it going? Hello, Dante. It's going pretty good. Fresh, chipper, bread eyed, bushy tailed. <laughs> Awake. 61% on top of things, which is more than normal. I'm just vendoring those straight up. Glad it's sunny up and quite nice the last few days. Yeah. It's been lovely here. My flowers and my balcony are empty. Moo is a term of endearment between my partner and I, and I'm paranoid that one day we'll moo at each other in public. Hmm. Oh, those are really cute. Those are really cute pet names. I like that a lot. I'm on this new health grind. Crazy how big a breakfast can be for such little calories. Yeah, that's a whole rabbit hole you can go down. I've been, uh, without, like, making any promises to myself about things that I will or will not eat, because I've never had a lot of luck with that, I've been trying to just pay attention to how I feel after eating various things, and then trying to just prioritize e eating things that, that, uh, don't induce some um, physical regret. It's, uh, it's going, it's going decently well. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you how well or poorly I'm eating in general, and that's fine, but, uh, I will say I've been feeling better, which is good. Mm -hmm. Disturb dirt. Somewhere. Where's the dirt? Oh, I found it. <laughs> I think it was underneath all the grass. Interact key is so important for this farm. I don't think I could live without it. Mid Island needs to bounce. Pack Easter baskets for tomorrow. Well, the rest of the stream goes smooth. Poor house is going to be destroyed by all the little ones tomorrow. Oh, have, have the most fun. Mm. It's cute. getting any closer with my meta achievement. I'm sort of getting closer. I have a decent chunk left. We're still doing dailies. We're still doing dailies for the Eon's Fringe thing. The treasures I'm working on right now. What else do we got? I'm doing... I'm doing the the cataloging and the climbing quests. This is petting dogs, that's a disgruntled hunter, that's the treasures, okay. I'm missing a bunch of stuff for Flight Club, I think. I think that maybe once I'm caught up with treasures, I might start to look into some of this stuff. Because I have a few things to do for Siege of Dragon Bane Keep. Some of them should be pretty easy, but I want to clean up a couple more loose ends first. 20 kids destruction doing achievements too starting with legion nice. just got the fishing pole artifact very cool. I wonder if I'm going to be able to finish this achievement, or at least the big pieces, the big grindy pieces of it before season four. 
I don't know exactly when season four is, but I feel like it must be somewhat soon. What are the grindiest pieces of this? Oh, that's just rip soil. The storm, certainly, but at a certain point, I think storms are just gonna be waiting for more. I don't think disgruntled hunter is gonna be too bad. I don't think the dog petting thing is gonna be too bad. The Eons Fringe Dailies is fine. That's not a problem. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Emerald Garden Explorer Notes. <laughs> this is going to be for one of these two things. And the notes put the treasure. Not the Nakud Armorer notes. That one. Emerald Gem Cluster. Let's go get it. Yeah, so we got two of them today. And we didn't spend the entire stream grinding them either, so that's really not too bad. I'm only going to have three total maps left after this. Uh, purple Fox with a shop mount. They sold it in a bundle with the purple version of the Love Witch set. I used some B-Net balance that I got for buying WoW tokens. Is it gone now? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't checked. I would imagine it's still available, but I haven't I haven't looked since I since I got it. I know they have a big pet bundle available right now. They were offering it to me at a discount, but I already had all the pets, so I don't need them. And they have the time gated legendary picture one, Ian's Fringe Daily, and the Storm's Left. Even Scroll Hunter can be done in three to four hours with the group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was the last. No, no, no. I still need the Amber Gem Cluster, actually. Um, I need one Amber Gem Cluster. And then the War Spear and the Sandy Wooden Duck. What you doing? I am chipping pieces off of the Dragonflight meta achievement of World Awoken in long and eventual pursuit of the Tyvan mount. Big ol' puppy dog mount. With a bunch of other mounts that you get along the way. Nice. Oh, any treasures? Have you seen what's coming in 10.3? Is there 10.3? <laughs> I don't, I, I didn't, I, if there is, that's news to me. Kind of want that mount, but ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that. If I was starting fresh, I would probably just pick one thing at a time. I would maybe start with the ones that are like active groups now, like Cobalt Assembly, Scroll Hunter, and Chasing Storms. And then just pick away at the rest of it. Because the achievements themselves aren't especially annoying. There's just a lot of them. They're kind of fun. <laughs> but yeah, it's a big project. Scout pack here. I am glad I'm doing all this treasure hunting after they unlock regular mounts. Because it's, it's, it's nice to have that option for treasure hunting. Oh! I wanted to soar. Flag one main for Dragonflight? Yeah, that would definitely <laughs> clean it up a little bit. <sighs> yeah, the main thing in the Season 4 patch is just Season 4. New... New, uh... Like the Awakened raids. Not new raids, but, you know, the Awakened format for them. Another crack of the original Dragonflight dungeon. Some new mounts for doing all of it. New vicious, vicious mount for a new PvP season. That kind of thing. What is this? Disturbed Dirt. Right by the war spear that I can't loot yet because I don't have the treasure map. What is the Nakud battle tunic combined with the armor to make battle gear? I don't think I know about that. I apparently need a bunch of. Ah, uh, no, it says known. I was gonna say, I thought I needed some of those cosmetics, but no, we're good. War within stuff, your talents look cool. Instead of nerfing classes that are good, they buff classes that are doing poorly. Makes a more round raiding data set. Hmm. Yeah, I hope they end up having 
like a fun option that feels good for for everybody. I'm interested to see how it plays out in the first uh, the first tier of War Within. It's a little experimental, but I like the I like the core idea of it. I think. <laughs> oh, look at that! I got a dragon chart knowledge. Oh boy. Those used to be like the end all be all of treasure farming. Used to people used to go dirt farming just for those. I haven't really been crafting recently. Kinda got all my professions done. Suppose I could trade the knowledge for more metal. And then you get metal from turning it in, and then I could use the metal to make like golden uh, quality frozen focus or something, but I'll probably do that for season four. Actually, that's one thing I need to do in Season 4, is I need to make a point of clearing out my stash of Artisan's Metal for as much profit as I can, as well as like any reserved materials that I have banked, so that I can benefit from them while they're still valuable. Because if you let the whole expansion end and you're still sitting on a bunch of, uh, you know, like, Awakened Order or whatever, it's not going to be... not going to be any good for your bottom line. forward to seeing how they take feedback when beta releases. Yeah. I'm just happy that they already scrapped the first version of the Oracle tree. I don't usually have takes on class balance and class abilities and whatnot, because I have a decent amount of faith that whatever it is will work out fine, and I don't play most classes, so I don't really get a say. But I do play Holy Priest, and that first Oracle tree was stinky looking. But it's gone. It's okay. Can't hurt us anymore. I don't even know where that flight star or where that dirt was. We just interacted that one. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Sometimes you get like a lot of junk. Oh, you know what that inexplicably reminded me of is I probably need to go do some thing on my priest in the Emerald Dream for the mount over there. The one that you plant. I haven't looked at it in a while and I bet you it needs something from me. Let me go take a look. <laughs> Let's go poke around. Let's do a pretty good job. They're only acceptable. They're hand warmers, and they only, they're only they only acceptable in the lowest setting, because if you put them above a one of three, they just start to burn you. They get so hot. Maybe that would make more sense if you were trying to, like, preheat a pocket or something like that. I want to know how far I am in on this mount progress, but I also am too lazy to look it up, so I'll find out. Yeah, they're electric. It's basically just like holding a, a hot piece of electronics, except that it's designed to do that. Warm hot magma? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Used to have those with crystals. Hmm. So this one is the, the seed weekly. Which I was kind of doing once upon a time because I was trying to get all of the seed bloom mugs. Got kind of tired of that. You're the herbalism trainer. Do you have something for me to do? Yeah. Thinks the sapling is almost there. With my help, we can bring it the rest of the way. Take this totem, place it near some of the weakened, flame corrupted root tenders found in the Singing Fen. This should siphon the unstable magical energies out of their bodies and transform it into something we can use. Okie dokie. If you say so. Don't mind me hitting trees. <laughs> Just for 10 flight stones that I don't have room for because <laughs> I am capped on flight stones. Should probably like go buy some of those equipment boxes that you can send to alts. I can even send some to my evoker, but... Ah, I'm not worried about it. 
sounds like a lot of a lot of work. Charge them by boiling them in water so the crystals liquefy. If you needed heat, you could press a piece of metal in there. Start the crystallization and releasing heat. I've never heard of that. I've heard of like the disposable ones that you like crumple or you like break up to activate. Still need to get a one hander a day so I can take. Pretty happy with our uh, with our progress today. Got some more climbing quests done. Got two treasures looted. That was pretty lucky. We finished uh, the bestowed trawler mammoth quest. Reasonable, but when it goes, there's no stopping it. Hmm. things going on. I must have turned off plumber. Also looked pretty cool. Related in only the mildest of ways. Did you guys ever get those things for a gift? Or just buy them, I guess, for yourself. That were like, grow your own crystal kits? It was like a bucket and then I don't know what else. Presumably some kind of chemical. I am not familiar with the science behind how it works. But it was like a whole thing that you would literally grow a crystal at home. And I'm assuming it was like more- oh, I forgot to drop my totem. I'm assuming that it was like more legit than the, you know, hatch an alien in your bathtub thing that was just like a water-soluble cap caplet that had like a little foam cut out of a dinosaur on the inside of it. I was very excited by those when I was a kid and then I was very disappointed when I found out how it worked. Dinos is supposed to grow in water, though? Mm hmm Never heard of that? Really cool. Saw that the Discovery Store ones didn't get it. You could grow in water. Me? I think I'm all done growing. I think I'm in my shrinking phase. <laughs> I think if you stick me for water long enough, I will get definitively smaller. Was it the crystals or the dinosaurs that disintegrated? For Christmas making candy cane crystals. Huh. Maybe I'll try it one of these years. I do love a good craft kit. Oh, not you, the ancient crafts. Mm -hmm. find out what minerals were used for the crystal kits. I'd hoped that there'd be some insert there that would explain a little bit of the science behind how it works, because otherwise I would just assume that everything was matching. <laughs> we didn't cover that in uh, in my high school education. wonder if they'd dissolve after. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so we did the Pinch of Magic quest. I haven't finished this world quest, but I probably don't need to. I mean, I don't need to, but it's 600 gold I get to keep if I do it. <laughs> they sell them with lights so they can glow after? Oh. Buy one of these, have it as an activity for my 39th birthday next year. Whenever I imagine your life, I always picture it as just like, like a Pinterest board filled with like cute little projects. <laughs> Fairy lights, wicker baskets with books in them, that kind of thing. Do I want to purify nine more roots if it gets me, nine more roots or trents if it gets me 600 gold? Yeah, kinda, actually. <laughs> Let's put this on a bar.
<laughs> How do you imagine my life? Uh, you live in a sitcom. <laughs> From everything I've heard about you. <sighs> it's funny because we talk every day. But we only know, like, small things about each other because, you know, health, healthy boundaries online. But because of that, I, I end up with, like, imaginary backstories sometimes or, like, settings that are completely fictional just based off of, like, the, the three or four things that I know about people. And usually they're, like, totally wrong, which is how I ended up thinking <laughs> Cash was British when he's not. Who needs real names anyway? Don't want to know how you imagine my life. I imagine that you are the owner of a swivel chair. Black. Somewhere in your house. But you're smart enough to not stand on it by yourself when you need to change the light bulb. You probably own a ladder for that kind of thing. Like a little step ladder. <laughs> oh, I missed the roots. What's life without a bit of swivel chair danger? <laughs> Listen, you really shouldn't stand on those. I haven't found out the hard way, but I'm old enough to know better now. <laughs> New light bulb or a trip to the ER? Either way, I'm on an adventure. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just get still, it's way safer. Walls in my room covered with photos of friends, people more than hobbies. Mm. Mm. That is very sweet. In another instance where I've grown older and changed, um, I am no longer a firm believer in daylight white bulbs. I, for <laughs> living spaces, the next time I buy light bulbs, I'm gonna get the warm ones instead. I think I've made everything a little bit too industrial around here. It's not like I'm doing photography. <laughs> not taking pictures in those places. It's okay if they're a little bit yellow. Alright, Professor Ash. What do we got? Oh, well, Professor Ash is happy. Are we done for the day? Give it some time, and if this plant is what I think it is, you'll bring some happiness back to this empty glade. Aww. Would you recommend collecting and achievement hunting to a new player? Yeah. That could keep you busy for the rest of your life. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all of this primalist stuff? I think stash it on a bank alt. I don't want to get rid of it, because I know I'm going to eventually be like, Oh man, if only I'd kept all that primalist gear. I could have all these transmogs from Vault of the Incarnates, but I'm like too lazy to figure out what I'm missing and mail them around, so I think I'm just gonna stash them all on my gnome or my goblin bank alt. Need the rainbow colored flowers of the rest of the root spell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. And some mail. My bank alt is very cleverly the name Hazel spelled backwards. No one will ever know it's me. Primalist. Actually, you know what we can do is we can just search for primalist. And do not the genosaur blood. <laughs> How, why do I have genosaur blood on this character? I don't know why I'm saving the necklaces. Doesn't make any sense. Probably just vendor those. Hi Hazel, happy Easter. Happy Easter, JD Brit. Grinding a twisting corridors for the corridor creeper mount. My god, that's a grind. Twisting corridors, corridor creeper. Ooh! That was the first uh, ride ride around in the mall mount that I got. I wonder what that's like nowadays. I remember doing that before they like overhauled Torghast, and it was a grind, but like. Oh, I had a great time. I did like a super slow, super long run on Holy Priest with just this Holy Fire build. It was great. I would save up damage for an entire floor just so I could try to one-shot the last boss. Just 
just thought about the mob for the first time since Shadowlands and shuddered. Oh, I wonder if they're ever going to get me back there. Maybe. I don't know. I did a fair amount of things. I'm pretty sure I have all the mounts they could offer me, so they can't get me with that. I will say, hella fun, but just takes so long because 18 floors. Mm -hmm. Mom still has me trapped. You can vendor that Argali wool rug for 46 gold. I checked the vendor price because I was ready to be offended if it was just like copper because I thought, I like that sounds like a handmade woolen rug. Sounds like a lovely thing to own. But no, 46 is decent, reasonable. I'd spend 46 gold for an Argali wool rug and then my dog would <laughs> chew on it. Um... Uh -huh. I think that's a thing. I think I found another one. Bear termination orders. The amber gems we were searching for were spotted in a cave. Unfortunately, that cave appears to be the den of a rather unfriendly bear. Well, yeah, it's unfriendly. That's, that's their den. You're coming to my house looking for my gems, I'm going to be unfriendly too. Good grief. <laughs> and then after that, I'll only have one more left for Thaldrazis and one more left for the Unarn Plains. So the next two treasures I get, each one means a whole achievement all by itself. Did I use them? Yeah, I did. There we go. Where are we going? There. Uh, would you be happy if you got a fancy wool rug for free, but it would be too big to fit any of your rooms? No. No. At that point, that's just clutter that you have to hang on to out of guilt, and I'm pretty allergic to that. I was thinking about if when I move, whether or not I want to replace my rugs... Not all of them, mind you, but like the rugs that have sustained puppy damage. Do I want to replace them when I move? Or do I want to move with the same the same beaten up damaged rugs? Because on one hand, fresh start. On the other hand, if I'm assuming that I'm moving because I bought a place, I'm probably broke. And it's entirely possible that more damage is incurred upon the rugs. It would be a bummer to like spend money on new rugs and have them immediately get damaged as well. So like, I don't know. Depends on how they'd vibe with the new home. <laughs> I think the new home might be like one step above a cardboard box by the freeway, so the vibe might be a little bit academic for a while. <laughs> Pressing issue. I know, I'm really worrying about the real problems, right? Mm. I was doing mortgage math last night. I don't like any of it. <laughs> I ha No, I haven't bought anything. I'm just thinking about it. Believe me, if I successfully buy a place, you guys will you guys will hear about it. If I'm in the process of buying a place but I don't know anything for sure yet, I will be stressed and vague for weeks on end. We can all look forward to that. I cancel a ton of streams because I'm like going places and, and whatnot. When I do show up to stream, I'm just like a wreck. And then after like... 27 weeks of that. I'm like, it's over. It's done. <laughs> I have a ruin. It's my ruin. Look at all these treasures that I could have got. I need to think about wrapping up soon. I'm just about out of time. But look at all these treasures that I could have got. What if we find another map? Could. Could do. The map grind's really not so bad. I I was skeptical when somebody said that to me, but it's true. It's uh it's going reasonably well. I think part of it is also it helped by the fact that I don't think as many people are competing for these. You'd think there's probably some more some more um activity on these treasures because of the achievements being added, but for the most part, I don't see nearly as much competition as I did back when people were trying to grind them for profession knowledge. I think there was like a high point where the richest people were like, you know, jumping each other for shards of knowledge. And we're pretty much past that now because profession knowledge is a bit of a moot point at this stage, so. There's certainly more treasures available, or maybe they just changed the spawn rate. Could be anything. The 
the gold you make from the greatest and lost expedition pack. Surprisingly high. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. I have a heavily deformed mace I can sell for 192 gold. I have, I've sold fully formed maces for less than that. For less than that. There's so many people everywhere in my shard, it feels like a new X pack all over again. Disturbed dirt. I feel like some of the skip packs were placed more carefully than others. <laughs> Alright. Love your stream so cozy. Aww. Shucks, Jans. Some things are worth 10 gold, you get like 6 of them. Oh. <laughs> I'm crunchy. Well. I think we're just about done for the day. I'll be back tomorrow. Same time. Same place, Sunday, Easter Sunday. Uh, no, no shame if you're busy because I know it's a big family day for people, but I will be here at the normal time. If you want to catch the stream VODs after the fact, I do post them to YouTube. There's a YouTube channel where I collect that kind of thing. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. I appreciate you. I hope you have a happy Easter and a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.